This is Free Talk Live. You can join us here on the toll-free line. It's 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. With you in the studio tonight, you've got me, Ian. Cecilyn. And Daryl. And, of course, you can join us on Skype. The Skype username is lrn.fm. Uh, coming up later on, uh, I guess Monday, on Monday Night Show, we're going to do something experimental. We're going to do a Skype-only show. So if you want to participate in the Skype-only show, meaning that we will not be giving out the toll-free lines, go ahead and get Skype installed right now if you don't already have it. I know it's a Microsoft product, and they're probably connecting to the NSA, but you're calling a talk radio show, so everything you're going to say is public anyway, so it really doesn't matter, um, and it's a good way to do it. Skype tends to sound a lot better than the phone, so uh, get your Skype installed on your smartphone, tablet, or your personal computer, and get it all set up for Monday night, and don't forget to plug in lrn.fm as the person you want to call. You do need to send a contact request first. We'll approve it, and you'll be good to go from that point forward. So there's lots in the news here tonight, including the Edward Snowden leak that uh, is one of the newest Edward Snowden leaks. There have been uh, many of these that have come out, and I'm sure um, most of them I probably haven't really even been aware of. There's been so many, and they've just trickled out over time. Unless you're really, you know, got a Google search going for Snowden, you probably don't even know what all of them have been. But there's a newer one that is, according to The Atlantic, devastating to the defenders of the National Security Agency. And Daryl and, uh, and I, you both had, uh, we both had the same story tonight, so we yes. should definitely talk about that. Uh, but one of, our, uh, one of the, our listeners had asked if we had been following this Jade Helm situation at all, and I honestly had just kind of heard about it. I didn't really know what it was all about. Apparently, Daryl, you were aware of it? Yeah, I actually got a question on my podcast for the Ask Me Anything that I do. Got a question about a month and a half ago mm -hmm. about, you know, what do I know about Jade Helm 15? And I did a decent amount of research. Is it 15 this. as in 2015? Yes. Okay. It's not that they've done it 15 times. Right. Okay. So 15 as in 2015. It started on July 15th and it's running through, I think, September 15th. But what is it? It's military exercises. Uh, oh, it's the martial The military law? does exercises all the time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's what the, the conspiracy theorists, uh, Alex Jones sort of people are saying, it's martial law. They're bringing in the tanks and the new world order is going <laughs> to take over and they're closing down Walmarts and they're setting up shop and it, it, it's anarchy. Oh, you know, I think I heard about this. Apparently there are secret tunnels underneath Walmarts and that's how they're going to move internment oh, wow. camp people. That sounds really deep. Yeah, I heard some crazy stuff. Yeah. It's going to be like the purge. But, you know, the government's going to be killing everybody But first. there's absolutely no evidence for any of this other Just than, speculation. like, some But Walmart Alex Jones has the documents. So, some Walmarts <laughs> were closed down suspiciously. And I, uh -huh. I will admit that, you know, like, it was very suspicious that Walmart gave five hours notice to their employees. Is there any indicator that the Walmart closing down has something to do with the military? A couple of the Walmarts that closed down are now being used in these exercises. So, like, that's the beginning and the end. That's of, all you need. Just in case the terrorists take over a Walmart. Is that the idea? The terrorists did take over the Walmart, Ian. The military is operating out of the Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I don't really see how, you know, like, Walmart, which gets a lot of government funding to operate these buildings and people don't really realize that walmart gets a lot of government funding do they get a lot of government funding or is it just tax waivers i mean a lot of times you'll see a walmart looking to move into an area and they'll get like a waiver of no property taxes for a certain number of years in order to encourage them when to come i was there. living in birmingham alabama uh not the first time like when i moved back after getting divorced the city of birmingham gave they gave Walmart land. Oh, wow. And they gave them, you know, this big, huge tax waiver. So it was like a $13 million, basically a handout to Walmart. Is that the same thing? The land. I mean, the land is definitely a handout. I'll give you that. But, you know, waiving taxes, I mean, it's sort of like a handout, but not really. You're just making it so they don't have to pay. It's unfair to everyone else. That's right. certainly true. So, 
you know, like all of the mom and pop restaurants and yeah. businesses within a three mile radius of Walmart still had to pay all of their taxes. Yeah. But Walmart for like five years was told no property tax and here's free land. So that's definitely a handout. I, I don't see how it could be construed that it's not a handout of here's land and you don't have to pay taxes on it. It's definitely playing favorites. Uh, that much is for sure. But shouldn't we be celebrating when somebody doesn't have to pay taxes? I mean, shouldn't that be a good thing? Shouldn't we be encouraging the government to Nobody wave? should have to pay taxes. I agree. I will and celebrate when there is no more government and there's no more people stealing my money and telling me what I cannot I cannot do. And the That's thing when that- I'll celebrate. The thing that made such little sense about this, and I realize that was not a proper sentence, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's okay. It's radio. (laughs) Is the Walmart, there there was one already there three miles away from the new location, (laughs) but it was in a different municipality. So Walmart was bribed to move three miles. So they shut the other store down? They shut the other store down. Wow. And moved three miles. That's expensive. I mean, to free close, land and no taxes yeah. for five years. To close an operation like that is no cheap, or to move an operation like that is right. no cheap thing. So, now, what know, if it was one of the government ones? Then that would have just thrown their whole martial law just what right down the ones? tube. You're the, talking about the ones in the Jade The ones Helm? we're talking, yeah, the yeah, ones the, we're talking the, the about Jade right Helm. now. Yeah, so the, the point that I was trying to make is in a lot of these cases, and I've seen it with other businesses, not necessarily Walmart, to where they'll get these sweetheart deals like you know come in we'll give you land we won't tax you on it for x number of years and right as that agreement is getting ready to come up the business says oh we're closing down this plant (laughs) so it could have been something kind of like that in Mm -hmm. these situations out in texas and utah and uh wherever else it is according to uh, i've got a story here at the new york post they actually have a photo of uh, libertarian activist Derek bros uh, from houston in this story oh yeah and uh, i i saw the headline he has a picture on facebook where he's holding the like austin newspaper and the headline is jade helm watchers report nothing to see Conspir- the headline here is Conspiracy Theorist Shadow Jade Helm War Exercise in Texas. Now, I'd be interesting to – I'm just curious. If you've been following the Jade Helm thing and you want to share with us, what's the worst case? I mean, what are what are people on the conspiracy theory side saying about this? Because this is obviously going to be the mainstream media's uh, perspective. What's, what's really going on? Uh, so if you want to share that with us, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well at Skype username LRN.FM. Here's a story from the New York Post where they say that no citizens were rounded up and imprisoned at Walmart. Tanks didn't rumble down city streets in a declaration of martial law. Eric Johnston wore his handgun on his hip on Wednesday, but really didn't believe soldiers were per- soldiers participating in one of the largest U.S. military training exercise in history were coming to confiscate it. Still... He was ready if Jade Helm 15 came to the worst. Quote, I would like to think that if the situation were turn afoul, many more of our people would stand up and come to assist, said Johnston, a retired Arizona sheriff's deputy and the Texas organizer of a national group called Counter Jade Helm. In fact, the seven-state war exercise launched in the exact manner Army officials have spent months patiently describing to conspiracy theorists, with no fanfare or cause for alarm, and almost entirely out of sight to the general public. Pops of gunfire echoed beyond the front gates of Camp Swift near Bastrop, Texas, though that hardly seemed out of the ordinary on what is a training ground for the Texas National Guard. Parts of Arizona, Florida, Louisiana, Mississippi, New Mexico, and Utah are also hosting the three-month training exercise, which the Army has acknowledged as unique given the size and scope. Military officials have said the topography in selected areas is ideal to replicate foreign combat zones. Suspicions intensified after some conservative political websites seized on an Army map that labeled Texas and Utah as hostile for the purposes of the simulation. Fears spilled into public view in April when about 200 people packed a community meeting in Bastrop and questioned an army commander about whether martial law was imminent. 855-450 free. Is martial law imminent? You can share your thoughts with us here on Free Talk Live. 
every once in a while you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth slide into a recession or at worst depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community, and it's, it's only getting bigger. That's amazing, to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If there was a place that liberty-minded people had been elected to political positions and were rolling back government, would you move there? If freedom lovers had secured a 20% voting block and can veto most bad bills, would you move? Well, the time has come to sign the pledge at freestateproject.org. These things have happened in New Hampshire, and you can join us and help. freestateproject.org. Sign up now at freestateproject.org. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. It's Free Talk Live. You may dial toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. And maybe you could tell us about this Jade Helm. Obviously, the mainstream media is going to give one side of the story and that story of course is going to be that everything's fine here it's just the military they're just doing themselves some operations or training militaries need to train so what's unusual about that what's the big deal well they train all the time nobody's freaking out about bold alligator What's that, bold out? Is that another training thing? It's a naval exercise in which thousands of marines and sailors 
are doing exercises in the fictional country of Garnett, which is actually part of Georgia and Florida. So they're um, they're on the land or in the Gulf of Mexico or something. Georgia does not touch the Gulf of Mexico. It doesn't. Ian. <laughs> I lived in Florida. Give me a break. I know Georgia's like close, right? Georgia is north of Florida. Oh yeah, it's kind of so landlocked. So Atlantic. Isn't it? No, it's not Atlantic landlock. Ocean. Yeah, okay, okay. Geography's hard sometimes. You know, I <laughs> I lived in Florida. I Alabama touches the Gulf of Mexico, though, Yes, right? it does. Okay, okay. Got yes. it. And Mississippi. Yep, and Louisiana. Alabama does not touch Louisiana. No, <laughs> Louisiana touches the Gulf of Mexico. Show yes, me. but no, Alabama touches Mississippi. I thought you were just naming things that <laughs> touched Alabama. <laughs> Show me on Alabama where they touched you. So I don't know. I, 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 you know, I haven't made up my mind about Jade Helm. Maybe you know something about it. You can share it with us. Uh, the toll free number is eight fifty five four fifty free. So what's you know what's the real story there? Is this going to be a, a prelude to martial law, or is martial law already here? I mean, if you look at what happened after the Boston bombing with the total lockdown of the streets in Massachusetts, uh, where I forget where it was in Watertown. Watertown. I think it was. Watertown. Watertown. Yeah, with uh, with Watertown, I mean, there's your martial law, and that was done by the police, not the military, right? And everybody was celebrating that. Um, I remember tweeting. Were you there for that? I wasn't. I wasn't USA. there, but there was um, someone who had moved for the FSP, right? Who was down there because they had gone to see some kind of comedy show or something. They stayed overnight, and it happened and, to be in Watertown. Yeah, where they, they were couldn't leave, and so like you know, they're posting updates to Facebook all day. And I like tweeted out something like, if you're in Watertown, you know, don't submit to searches. You know, record. And someone was like, why would you say such a thing? They're looking for violent criminals, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, whoa, hold on. You don't know what they're doing. You're trying to protect violent criminals, Cecilyn, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> trying to protect individuals. Like, um, I know I wouldn't want the government busting up in my house and te- tearing it apart looking for someone, allegedly. It was a scary situation. I mean, they literally had SWAT teams, Bearcats, all kinds of armored vehicles and things like that. Yeah, the, the ballistic engineered armor response counterattack truck from Nashua, New Hampshire was sent down to Watertown, Massachusetts. Yeah, it actually would have been a good time for somebody who wanted to do some sort of terrorist uh, bombing or whatever to actually go ahead and do that because every cop from everywhere in the vicinity had centered in on this one particular location. So if you'd wanted to do something in, uh, you know, Concord, New Hampshire, there probably wouldn't be very many cops around f- uh, for that. But nonetheless, uh, we want to go to your calls and thoughts here. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Skype as well. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. And uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies, you can go to freedomsphoenix.com to do that every single day. They get the detailed real news that lies between the lines of propaganda and the relationship we have with coercive governments freedomsphoenix.com. They've got up-to-the-minute updates on the economy, technology, communications, and the rise of the police state. That's freedomsphoenix.com. You can sign up for their free daily dispatch, freedomsphoenix.com. Let's go to your phone calls and thoughts. Greg is listening in Raleigh to Talk Radio 850. Hello, Greg. Hey, how's it going? Welcome, sir. You're on the air. Yeah, this is Jade Elping. It seems a little interesting. Um, I don't know if it uh, kind of violates Posse Comitatus, which kind of got overruled anyway with that executive order by the president, right? I don't know if you guys have any insight on that, but a I'm guy not familiar with uh, Bragg, with that. So Posse well, Comitatus was instituted during Reconstruction, and basically it prevented the military from doing law enforcement locally in the locally United States. in the United States, and yeah, that sort of got wiped away with W. Bush. Yeah, and the NDAA had a little bit to do with some of that too. Uh, I've kind of read into that that little executive order. There's kind of frightening, but uh, for a soldier I know at Fort Bragg that I shoot with on the weekends, he said here that there were some Russian troops also training with the with this group. Uh, and I don't know how many troops are involved. Is it like 2,500 or do you guys know? Or Honestly, I don't. Um, but that's why we've got open phones so anyone can call in and uh, and share their thoughts here on this. I mean, are you concerned about this? Well, not in a sense. It's, it's weird when you see all the executive orders that get laid out and, you know, record and in weird training like this. And, yeah, you know, I, I'm in 
raw material for aerospace. I sell a lot of material. The guys that are retrofitting Humvees and all kinds of vehicles for local law enforcement. You know, all this stuff has been kind of going on more recently in the last, like, two years or so. And 2,500 soldiers, I don't know. I mean, it. what are you going to do against 100 million armed Americans if, if, they, if an aggression was turned towards people? I mean, on and, and one hand, I'm not worried about it, but I'm curious about it with everything you see going on. I mean, well, there's some, st- there's some cities where there aren't very many armed Americans at all, right? Like, you know, Massachusetts, it's pretty hard to have a gun down there. And certainly nobody provided any kind of resistance against the police who came down there. At the very least, no one made video of any kind of resistance to the police. And I'm not talking about necessarily violent resistance, just any level of, hey, that's not okay. Hey, stop that. Or please don't come in my house. You can come in with a warrant. Yeah, I don't think even, you know, not even the the Liberty people that live down there uh, bothered to stand up for themselves. So. It, the whole thing was a pretty sad, uh, a pretty sad situation, and like I see where the people are coming from who are worried that having the military in the streets will sort of acclimate the people in the United States to the idea of having troops yeah. in the streets. Like that, to me, is a solid concern about this, and of course, that's been echoed for more than a decade. Greg, thanks for your call tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. I remember watching, like probably. 15 years ago or something like that, back when Alex Jones was, uh, you know, he was putting out these videos called Police State 1, 2, 3, I don't know how many of them there were, but they were recording video of the military doing these operations very much like this, presumably, where they were running through a neighborhood, you know, and like they had machine guns and they were in fatigues and, you know, they were doing things of a training sort of operations nature in public, and so this this isn't the first time this kind of thing has happened. It's been happening for quite a long time. Not that that makes it okay. I'm not excusing that. So I can understand where the where the concern comes from with, hey, this is kind of creepy. This is kind of weird having these military guys run around and do these training exercises in public. Yeah, and uh, you had mentioned Watertown, Massachusetts, but you failed to mention New Orleans, Louisiana. That's right. Well, because uh, after Hurricane Katrina... Not only was the National Guard there as law enforcement, but they were going door to door telling everybody, you must give us all of your guns. They sure were. That was pretty horrifying. And that video still exists, by the way. There was an ABC News reporter who was reporting on them taking people's guns away. And there's even footage that uh, aired on national television of them like running up against an old lady and forcing a gun out of her hands. Uh, it was crazy. 855 450 free. But again, you know, that's the National Guard. The police were involved in that. The Americans are, they're used to the police state at this point. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800 34 no tax to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Never, ever send a follow-up email asking, did you get my email? Email 101, if it didn't bounce back undeliverable, it got where you sent it. And avoid transmedia pestering, like calling to ask, did you get my email? Or emailing to say, I left you a voicemail. If your emails and voicemails aren't being acknowledged, your problem isn't technology, it's technique. Is your message concise and understandable? Have you boiled it down to seem as relevant as possible to the recipient? In other words, 
Is it the opposite of spam or junk mail? All of this really matters if you're a job seeker. But even if you're not, with money and attention so scarce now, effective communication skills have never been more important. For more tips, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Juicy Juice, 100% juice, providing a full serving of fruit in every four ounces. Visit us at JuicyJuice.com. When it comes to nutrition, kids need both fruits and vegetables every day to stay healthy and grow. For the ideal mix, your kid should have at least one and a half cups of any veggie or 100% veggie juice and one cup of any fruit or 100% fruit juice a day. For more tips like these, visit us at Parenthood.com slash Your Family Today. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live. When you speak of the federal government, uh, I can tell you a few things about it because I survived 34 years of it before I retired two years ago. Mm. Ew. And Sorry to hear about that. my sanity. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Who did you work for? I worked uh, for the Department of Defense. It's a criminal enterprise from top to bottom. What? There was unethical behavior going on there. Mm. Uh, there were people doing criminal things. I mean, uh, outright larceny, graft. Uh, I could just go on. Yeah, and that's and, just your bureaucracy. It's the yeah. same way everywhere else in every other government department. And I tell you, this is a microcosm. If it's that way where I was, you know the entire federal government's that way from the very top to the very bottom. Hmm. When we talked to former police officers, they've told us that usually I did the, that too for did about seven years out there. They've, they've told us that in their experience, usually the worst rise up through the ranks. Would you say that's accurate from your experience? Absolutely. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live, you may join us. Toll free if you want. 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Joining you tonight in studio, it's me, Ian. Cecilyn. And Daryl. Join us online at freetalklive.com. We are discussing the Jade Helm. Is it, as uh, some in the conspiracy theory movement are suggesting, a diabolical plot to run uh, military training amidst cities in America, thereby desensitizing people to the idea of having the military around? Are they uh, planning, as apparently Alex Jones said, according to a Wikipedia article on the various conspiracy theories surrounding Jade Helm 15, that uh, this is an invasion. It's just a cover for deploying the military on the streets in preparation for the financial collapse and maybe even Obama not leaving office. That's such a good Alex Jones. Not, that's not that good. I was, okay. I was entertained. So the- It hurts, actually, to do any more gravelly. Uh, kind of voice, it like physically hurts. Don't die, Ian. Yeah. The, Don't the die. The financial collapse, I've been hearing that that's impending for the last probably 18 years or so. And every time somebody- And every president yeah. is never leaving. Uh, Bill Clinton was going to find some way to right. continue being president. George W. Bush was going to find a way to cancel the O.A. election. Cancel the election, I remember that. Uh, yeah. Now Obama and- you, you know, they, they say that Obama's the third term of George W. Bush. I like to say that he's the 57th term of George Washington. <laughs> All right. The GCN board op says it wasn't a bad Alex Jones impersonation, and I'll, I'll definitely take that from them. I mean, they actually work with the guy. So, uh, <laughs> toll free number. Good. Thank you. Toll free number tonight is 855 453. Let's go to you with your thoughts here. Uh, straight Razor first in Texas, which is one of the places where this Jade Helm thing is supposedly happening. Straight Razor, you're on Free Talk Live. Good evening. How are y'all? Hey there. Go ahead. So, so first, hold on. I, I've got a question for you, Straight Razor, before you begin. Is that your military uh, special forces name, and are you part of Jade Helm? <laughs> no, I'm not part of Jade Helm. No, I was in the in the armed forces before. Okay. Um, however, 
I think the the main worry for me is uh, how much are these cities, uh, how many people are having their privacy infringed? Because we're talking about special operators going into these areas, and their specific purpose is to blend in and gather information. Now, if you're doing that, what sort of equipment in the background are you using to gather other information from people's phones? From Because there are things that you can do during training that would be completely unlawful if you were not training. Now, is this uh, something that the military has publicly admitted to, that they are going to be blending in among people in cities? Because that didn't, uh, I don't know if Cecil or Daryl, one of you guys read something o- online during the break that the, supposedly a lot of this is going out, you know, going on in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I've got the uh, actual press release from the military from March. They don't mention anything about blending. Uh, they do say that... Quote, the public can expect nothing much different from their day-to-day activities since much of the exercises will be conducted in remote areas, end quote. Uh, And then it does say that the most noticeable effect uh, will be that there will be increased vehicle traffic, military air traffic, and, of course, there will be a economic gain because of fuel, food, and hotel lodging. One of the original articles that came out on Jade Helm, and of course I haven't heard anything since then saying the same thing, was that part of the operation was specifically to give uh, basically undercover operators uh, experience in blending in with, uh, you know, local people. So they would be applying for jobs, going around, um, you know, trying to blend into the, the different communities as well as possible. And so the, what's now, the purpose since, of that? Since that uh, suppo- well, the purpose is to give them experience in changing themselves and blending into a community so that they won't be noticeable. Uh, so that's what they're going to say is that it's it's specifically for that for training. But uh, ever since that that article was probably the last time I ever heard of it, and all of a sudden that that disappeared. So, yeah, I, I don't think that, you know, if they are attempting to, quote unquote, blend in for some spy operation, like the U.S. military does not have spying authority within the United States. Neither does the CIA. Um, not unless you are conducting a training exercise that that completely circumvents many laws. Oh, so what you're saying uh, is that because it's a training exercise is a loophole for them to be able to do things that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do in a real situation. But if they put the word training in front of it, then all of a sudden they can do spying, they can uh, blend or whatever you're talking about. Exactly. So there were pieces of equipment in the military that I couldn't use um, if I just wanted to. But if we got a bunch of people together and said, hey, we are training on this specific piece of equipment that does function X, Function X is normally illegal. However, since we're training, we can perform Function X to learn how to do it. Interesting. And so this is your experience from – you've called the show a number of times in the past. You uh, have been a law enforcement officer in various different locations in Texas and uh, former military as well. Straight Razor, thanks for the the thoughts, the insight. Appreciate that. The toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. Let's continue. We've got Joe. He's in Alabama. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Joe. Good evening. Hey there. I enjoy the show. Thanks. Um, I have a question. In Keene, now, I noticed where they had a tank come in. A lot of people protested. Here in Alabama, a lot of the small communities are getting armored vehicles at their small police stations. And How can we as people here locally in Alabama show our concerns like you did in Keene. I just followed a little bit on the Internet, and, and it's just scary, like what they're saying is going on in Texas, that it's going in our small communities, and what do we do in our areas to help fight against it? That's an excellent question. Uh, Cecil, you were, were you around? You were around for the uh, for I that was situation here, for that. here, right? I'm, I'm old enough for that one, yeah. Uh, any uh, any thoughts? Uh, well, unfortunately, even though there is so much pushback here in Keene, I mean, I think 90% of the just the general populace was totally against it. 
the city council went ahead and accepted it anyways. Same it, thing in Concord, where the, there was pushback there as well, and they went ahead and accepted it uh, also. And I think the only place it's been rejected was Berkeley, California. I think you're correct yes. on that. Uh, now you can you can you know try to talk to your councilman or alderman whatever they call it there do petitions uh, try to get people to show up to the actual event where the the city council meeting where they talk about it and vote on it and everything yep. but I mean they could just go ahead and accept it like they did all over New Hampshire they likely will um, so you know prepare yourself for that but those are all things that we did here and there was even a song that uh, thanks was but written. no tanks thanks but no tanks I imagine the lyrics are somewhere on the internet even though the thanks but no tanks website has long been gone unfortunately I'll oh, try to video. find the lyrics and then post it on the Facebook page for Free Talk Live excellent idea so Joe that's an idea maybe go to the Free Talk Live Facebook page here hopefully Daryl will be able to pull up the lyrics and if you look at Keen if you search for Keen and Bearcat, uh, like for instance, uh, just generally on Google, you'll probably find stuff. Certainly if you go to freekeen.com and you search for Bearcat and then scroll back to 2011 and 2012, you'll see lots of video of some of the stuff that we did. And there was a lot of petitioning that went on. Hundreds of signatures were gathered from people. I mean, that, that city council meeting was so full but that, that they stopped accepting people. They stopped letting people even go up to that That's floor. Right. They're holding the people fire in the lobby. Yeah, codes. The fire codes. Now, one thing that strikes me as odd is in the application for this ballistic engineered armor response counterattack truck, the police chief cites pumpkin fest as <laughs> rationale. We, we need this bear cat because terrorists might attack pumpkin fest. And we need this to evacuate people and because it's got this thing to detect uh, nuclear stuff. Now that pumpkin fest That's is not option. a thing, can we return the bear cat? I doubt it. No. Joe, good luck down there. Uh, you know, as this develops, give us a call back. Let us know what's happening. I appreciate your call tonight. And, you know, don't be too bummed out when they go ahead and vote against everybody else's wishes. Of course, I wonder how different the response would be in the South. I mean, is it that, you know, more people love the police and the military, and so there won't be as many people pushing back? I'd love to hear more from Joe in the future. More coming up here at 855-450 free with Free Talk Live. Are you suffering with hearing loss? Are you sick of people constantly complaining that your TV is too loud? Are you tired of asking people to speak up? Would you like to hear more clearly, but you don't want to wear a hearing aid that makes you look old? Then you need to try Listen Clear, a life-changing breakthrough precisely designed by top audio engineers to fit your ear almost invisibly. And you can adjust Listen Clear to find the perfect way to hear everything, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. And now we're extending our in-home trial to let you try Listen Clear risk-free for a full 45 days. With free shipping, we'll even give you free batteries for life. Call now, 1-800-956-9829. Listen Clear is lightweight and completely hassle-free, and it's practically invisible. Call for your extended 45-day in-home trial with free shipping and free batteries for life. For free information, call now, 1-800-956-9829. That's 1-800-956-9829. 1-800-956-9829. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state in back taxes, you know they'll never stop coming after you. With bank levies, wage garnishments, they'll even seize your home or business. The good news? A government program for tax debt forgiveness. It's called the Fresh Start Initiative. I'm Paul Sibley. With U.S. Tax Shield, we can help navigate the new laws, get you protected, and resolve your tax issues permanently. Call the experts at U.S. Tax Shield now for your free consultation and get a guaranteed quote to resolve your case. Call 800-436-6451. That's 800-436-6451. All right, so suddenly Walmart, eBay, Amazon, everybody wants to ban the rebel flag. Well, the rebel flag is an important part of American history. The rebel flag is still a long-standing symbol of Southern pride and Southern heritage. So if the big retailers want to play into political correctness and try to deny the history of America, let them. Go to ourflags.com. That's R, like rebel, R, the letter R, ourflags.com. Get your rebel flag before they actually do outlaw the things, huh? Ourflags.com. That's ourflags.com. Go now. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you can go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! I'm 
have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up anything you'd like. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Right now, we've been talking generally about uh, military and police and kind of the police state, this Jade Helm 15 that many people are very concerned about. Uh, is it really a dastardly plot to, uh, to uh, sort of acclimate the people in the United States to the presence of the military in their streets? I think that's a decent theory. Uh, but at the same time, the, you know, the evidence is that they're not really in the streets they're apparently out in the middle of nowhere doing a lot of these exercises. However, Straight Razor called in and said that he had heard that from like some sort of military press release or whatever that uh, you know that he had heard. That he said it was a news article that he read. Okay, thank you for that. That uh, that he uh, you know the military was going to be doing undercover work. That they would be trying to blend in in plain clothes or something like that. It's though they need practice blending in in the United States. They're from here, so I don't know. It's very. There's a lot of conspiracy theory going on here, and I just want to know what the real story is. If you know, and or at least you want to speculate, you can do that too. Eight fifty. You'll find out the real story when you're in a FEMA camp. Eight fifty five four fifty free. Let's go to John. He's in Minnesota, and you're on Free Talk Live. Hello, John. Hello. Hi. Hey, uh, what flag are they flying? Are they flying the red, white, and blue, or the one that they have put in the courtrooms in the last? 15 years or 20 years. Are you really going to try to bring this gold fringe flag into this conversation to suggest <laughs> that somehow the military flying the gold fringe means that they're corrupt and that they're, you know, all of a sudden bad guys? I, I, I didn't say that they were corrupt or non-corrupt. I just wondered what flag are they flying? What would it mean to you if they were flying the gold fringe flag? Well, what, what does the gold mean, and what does the red, white, and blue I'm mean? I'm just asking what it would mean to you. If the military was flying that flag, what would you then tell us? If I were to say, yes, I saw the military flying the gold fringe flag from the back of their Humvee, what would that say to you? I, I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm calling you to find out what's the deal. I, I know. I wait am, a minute. I don't don't, know. don't pretend like you don't know. You just called up and you referenced a, the conspiracy theory that has something to do with if you're in the courtroom and the the flag has a gold fringe, that it means you're in a court of admiralty, and so therefore, blah, 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 you need to say these magic words, and then you'll get the case thrown out. So what does that mean in the world of the military? You're the one who called about this, aren't you? Okay. Okay. Well, the way I've, I've been told, and I haven't looked it up myself. By whom did you? were you told? <laughs> by different talk shows. Ah, you know. okay. Got it. But uh, I don't know if there's some, anything to it. Probably uh, not, but go but ahead. What flag they flew in, flew in Waco or in Ruby Ridge and, you know, those places. Was was this, Did this talk show happen to be at late at night? Oh, there's crazy talk shows all day long. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes. 
Uh, there's no shortage of crazy conspiracy theory talk shows out there, John. Just because something – here's a reminder for listeners. Just because someone with a microphone says something – doesn't automatically mean that it's true. And just because you read it on the internet doesn't mean it's true. And we'll explain that later with the uh, lady down in Tennessee. The lady in Tennessee. The the story about the uh, counterfeit money. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't even, I don't think we've really even teased that one yet. That one's interesting. We'll get into that here in a little bit. John, I would say that uh, you should be very, very skeptical of claims heard on the radio, including on this show. Yes. Thanks for the call tonight. Okay, Appreciate well, hearing from you. A fifty. Well, watch out for that gold fringe, though. Unless Dangerous. I say it, then you should believe me because everything I say is true. <laughs> Show me where the gold fringe hurts you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, that's just me. You want to join us here, and you can, you know, theorize if you want, but just keep in mind, you know, this is a radio show. It's open phones. The hosts of the show. I mean, a lot of times we'll admit if we don't know something. We're going to tell you we don't know something. Yes. But even if we seem like we know something, we could be wrong. So you can always call in to correct us here, toll free at 855-450 free, or you may Skype the show. Skype username here is lrn.fm. Look, I'm on board with the idea that having the military running training operations with guns and tanks and things like that in the streets could certainly desensitize people to the the presence of those things. Yes. And, mm-hmm. and I share those concerns. Is that what's happening with Jade Helm 15. Now they are apparently two days into what is going to be a three-month-long operation. And uh, so far, at least if you believe the mainstream media reports, nothing is really no- nothing notable. Well, the mainstream media is in on the conspiracy. Well, that's why I said I wanted to see a good rundown of like what are the what's the supposed real story here? What's really going on? And really there isn't much about it on the front page of Alex Jones's website, Prison Planet. You can, if you search for Jade Helm there, you only find one entry on the front page. Ah, he must be in on the conspiracy now, too. Well, that is the deep conspiracy theory now, isn't it, uh, Daryl? The theory that Alex Jones is actually a CIA operation. But he always has the documents. He always has the well, documents. Well, the CIA would give him the documents, right? <gasps> Yeah, I'm, I'm it's, a, saying, it's a double, into, triple conspiracy, guys. Yeah. He, he's been to that monkey my research center hat? in uh, the University of Texas, and he shouldn't even be talking about that. The theory is that Alex Jones is a CIA operative and that Ted Anderson, the owner of GCN, is also in on it. I've not heard this one. Yeah, I don't necessarily I, I heard the claim maybe, that— uh, Maybe we're all CIA operatives. I, I did hear somebody call him one really night. Deep. <laughs> Especially say, if you're so deep you don't know. Say oh that Ted gosh. Anderson was one of the international global banksters because he sells silver and gold. <laughs> and all of the silver and gold is controlled by the international banksters. I'd like to say that I don't believe any of that stuff. I think Ted Anderson's a good guy, and I've bought silver from Ted and a little bit of gold. I, I've uh, never met Ted. Ted. Uh, I did get a free silver round when I called the number to get the copy of uh, The Creature from Jekyll Island. So, I don't. I don't know any of these people. Ted Anderson is the uh, the boss man behind the Genesis Communications Network and Midas Resources. So um, we've had Ted on the show in a number of times to talk about gold and silver. He's oh, been Midas selling Midas Resources. Yeah. Mark goes on about those people all the time. Yeah, the, the company that syndicates this radio show is GCN. And Ted is the owner. And yeah, Daryl, I got that. Well, I, well, I had that bit. So like, so essentially, GCN is sort of like an arm of Midas Resources, sort of like the publicity arm. You know, Ian, it. you're just in on the conspiracy. There's an argument for that. In fact, some <laughs> people there's actually an argument. There's an article on the internet that accuses me of being a federal agent. You're a federal Only agent, one? and yeah. you're also uh, the leader of the entire liberty movement, <laughs> and you're brainwashing everyone because you are a cult leader. Let's but then there's to... only one article accusing you of me. <laughs> only one, one that I've seen. It was fairly in depth. Let's go to Matt. He's in Central Minnesota. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Matt. Hello. Hi there. Hello. Yeah. Camera. Go ahead. Thanks, uh, first time. First time calling. Um, I think on this Jade Helm stuff, people have to realize what it actually takes to uh, institute martial law on a large scale. I mean, does anybody remember the the riots? After the officers were acquitted in L.A., I mean that was that was a huge number of armed forces. They were trying to lock down what 16 square blocks of L.A. and they had an extremely difficult time in one city. And especially in the U.S., where so many people are armed, uh, I don't believe that this can lead to martial law. 
Yeah, I think I think that's a good point. One of the I think one of the better objections is well, the military is all around the world. They've got a lot of troops elsewhere. They're not here in the United States, so they would have a real tough time. They'd have to shut down the, their military bases from around the world. I would think to have it in any serious chance at occupying any amount of uh, square footage in the United States. Correct, and these you know people forget how big states actually are. You know. And- I, I live in Minnesota, and it's bigger than most European countries. And I'm in central Minnesota. Just a drive to Canada is over four and a half hours one way. So it's 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 a logistical nightmare to try and lock down a country this size. With, with yeah, military. I think that's a good point. And you can use uh, the situation in after the Boston bombing that we touched on earlier as an example, right? In that in that situation, they brought in police from all the surrounding areas basically to simply occupy a suburb of Boston, not even the full city of Boston. They were in this Watertown suburb, you know, where the bedroom community. And like you were were saying, how many other cities were left, you know, with no police in them? I mean, this just, I think it's, it's strange that they're taking over Walmarts and stuff, but again, that could just be supplies and who knows what, but. A little more transparency, I think, is too much to ask for this government. Well, that much is certainly true. They're not interested in being very transparent. Uh, and then certainly when they do that, it makes them look suspicious. Yeah, and I've read a couple yeah. of stories recently of a couple different municipalities where people have filed freedom of information requests and then got sued by the city because the city didn't want to answer the information request. Wow. Ridiculous. Matt, anything else you want to share? Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks for the app. The app is awesome. I've been listening on that. And oh, yeah. It's, it's, thanks for the reminder help. about oh, the app. The app. That's right. Yeah, we've actually made it easier to access it. If you go to apps.lrn.fm, that'll take you right to a page where you can pick either Android or iOS. And thank you, Matt. Glad you're liking it. Appreciate the call tonight. Our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. We'll continue in moments with hour number two of Free Talk Live. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Improve the look of your home for less with hardwood floors from Lumber Liquidators. Choose from over 400 styles of hardwood, bamboo, woodlook tile, and more, all for a lot less than other stores. This week, get gorgeous, pre-finished, three-quarter-inch solid copper heavy hardwood for $3.29 and more from $0.99. Cents. $2 instant savings on our hottest Bellawood matte-finished hardwood floors, North American and European laminate from $0.49 cents and more. And 18-month special financing for the floor you want at the price you deserve. Visit LumberLiquidators.com to find a store near you. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate. Oof, I think we've all had enough of that jingle, don't you? If you're going to invest in property in New Hampshire, it just makes sense to support a liberty-friendly realtor. Call Mark Warden of Team Porcupine Real Estate for investment property or rentals in the free state. Or visit his website. Come on, you know it. PorcupineRealEstate.com The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, July 17th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.99 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,144 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $276. 
Antiwar.com reports those who were able to leave left a long time ago. The easternmost part of the Sunni-dominated Anbar province is obviously going to be the front lines of a bloody war between the Islamic State and the Iraqi government, which is backed by Shiite militias. It hasn't been the easiest place to flee from, with the area around the cities a war zone. At this point, tens of thousands of civilians in places like Fallujah are just plain stuck in the middle of the offensive, with the Islamic State urging them to stay put, the Islamic State fighters putting explosives on the road into town trying to keep invaders out, and Iraqi forces shelling the same roads to keep the Islamic State from coming out to meet them. Even if they could get out, their options are limited. Fleeing deeper into Anbar just means they're going to be a target of the offensive a little later, and the Iraqi government has viewed Sunni Arab refugees with distrust as possible the Islamic State infiltrators. Past offensives into Fallujah, including the U.S. offensives during last decade occupation have been bloody indeed. The Shiite militias spearheading the current offensives have a long history of violent recriminations against the civilian population after their offensives as well, leaving the civilians to wait and worry. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports the Board of Supervisors for Maricopa County, Arizona on Wednesday voted to settle part of a lawsuit against controversial Sheriff Joe Arpaio that accused his office of using discriminatory practices such as targeting Hispanics. The settlement will include renewed training of deputies and policy changes, but no monetary damages. The trial was scheduled to begin next month, but now the sheriff will face just one charge during the proceedings instead of four. Supervisor Steve Gallardo said of the settlement, the sheriff's office put us in a situation we should have never been in. The agreement also mandates the sheriff's office to establish an official policy prohibiting retaliation against any individual for any individual's lawful expression of ideas in the exercise of the First Amendment right to freedom of speech. Arpaio, Maricopa County Sheriff since 1993, is well known across the Southwest for taking some critical views as a hardline anti-immigration position. In the past, Arpaio had been accused of abusing power, misuse of public funds, failure to investigate sex crimes, unlawful enforcement of immigration laws, and election law violations. Wednesday's agreement settles three of the four Justice Department charges against the Arizona Sheriff. The allegations that Arpaio retaliated against public officials punished jail inmates for speaking Spanish and conducted workplace raids that targeted Latinos. The fourth allegation that Arpaio's office targets Latino motorists will be the subject of a trial on August 10th. Gallardo said, people want their day in court. Most of these issues in the settlement are already moot. People have been pulled over, profiled, and they want to talk about these cases. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports Europe moved to reopen funding to Greece's stricken economy on Thursday after the parliament in Athens approved a new bailout program and a vote that left the government without a majority. The European Central Bank increased emergency funding for Greek lenders, although capital controls will have to remain in place to avoid a run on the banks when they reopen on Monday. European Union finance ministers also approved 7 billion euros in bridge loans to Greece, allowing it to make a bond payment to the European Central Bank next month and clear its arrears with the International Monetary Fund. The loans will be finalized on Friday, provided Germany's parliament approves a request to open talks on a three-year bailout program. Greece's third in the past five years, worth up to 86 billion euros. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Odds are, if you've looked outside recently, you've noticed that all dogs everywhere are running. Scientists can't explain why all over the world, dogs of every breed are running nonstop. I'm joined now by animal behavior expert, Dr. Charles Davenport. Charles, what can you tell us? All we know for sure is that the dogs are running fast. But we don't know why the dogs are running? There are a few reasons that dogs normally run. Because they're excited or scared, 
or they see something they want far away, or because they're happy. However, usually, they don't run at the same time or in the same direction. Do we have any idea where the dogs are running? West. All the dogs are running west. Do we expect the dogs to ever stop running? We don't know. Animal behavior can evolve over time. Maybe running forever is just what the dogs do now. Dr. Davenport, is there any chance that the running dogs are somehow related to last night's blue meteor shower or the fact that horses are screaming? Inconclusive. Well, please keep us posted. Up next, where are all the children? This is the Onion News Network. Back now with more Free Talk Live. You are welcome to join us. Toll free. 855-450-FREE is the number here. Coming up, the counterfeiting story we briefly touched on in the last hour. Some lady has been busted for printing her own money on her printer at home. Thanks, Obama. In black and white. <laughs> and we'll tell you more <laughs> More in a moment here. Uh, our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. With you in the studio tonight, it's Ian. Cecilyn. And Daryl. And uh, so, let's uh, also, coming up, the Edward Snowden, the latest leak that the people who are supporting Snowden are saying is absolutely going to trounce the people who support the NSA. I don't know any of those people, but they must exist. And I mean people who are not part of the NSA who support the NSA. They must exist. Uh, so we can talk about that as well. And also, Cecilyn will be uh, giving us a pretty great story about some Free State Project participants and a major success uh, from the legal perspective that has happened here in New Hampshire within recent weeks. It's great. Yeah. And so all of that's on the way here. Of course, you can bring up anything that you want at 855-450-FREE. Daryl, where was this uh, counterfeiting story happening? Uh, this is in Kingsport, Tennessee, which is part of what they call the Tri-Cities. There's Kingsport, Johnstown, and, or, uh, yeah, Johnstown and Bristol. Okay. So it's, you know, like three major cities that are fairly close to one another. And the story here comes from a newspaper in Kingsport, they write a Kingsport woman told police she was counterfeiting money because she read online that President Barack Obama made a new law allowing her to print her own money. If it's online, it must be true. Police were called to a local grocery store on Sunday in regards to a complaint about counterfeit money. When the reporting officer arrived, he spoke with a gas station clerk who said that just prior to the officer's arrival, a white female handed him a $5 bill, which he suspected to be <laughs> counterfeit. The clerk handed the officer the bill and immediately recognized that the bill had been printed on regular computer paper and each <laughs> side had been glued together, oh. but it was falling apart. It's oh, man. <laughs> the officer spoke to the woman, Pamela Downs, who is 45 years old. The officer asked her about the currency and she reported that she had received the money from a gas station in Bristol a few days prior. She told the officer that the bill was folded over and she did not look at it closely. She never inspected the bill. Uh, she was then asked if she could have her purse searched and she agreed. Inside the purse, the officer found a counterfeit $100 bill. And according to the report, the bill was printed in black and white. And the backside of the bill wah, wah, was wah. upside down. <laughs> A couple of receipts from Walmart were also found inside her purse, showing that she had recently purchased. Take a wild guess what she recently purchased at Walmart. Uh, printer paper? And? A printer? Exactly. <laughs> she was then placed in handcuffs and reportedly told the officer, I don't give a bleep. All these other bleeps get to print money, so I can too. Sounds like it might be rap lyrics there. It could be, yeah. yes. Uh, Silly lady. Only banks get to make money. She she was then placed in the patrol vehicle and transported to the Kingsport City Jail. While at the jail, she was reportedly read her Miranda rights and then interviewed. She told the officer that the receipts that were found were for items that she used to print the money in her apartment. She then said that she read online that Obama made a new law permitting her to print her own currency because she was on a fixed income. I want to find this. I want she, to find this article that she She read. was charged with something called criminal simulation and mm. counterfeiting. 
She then signed a consent to search waiver, which the officers executed at her apartment. Inside, they found several items consistent with being used to print counterfeit currency, including, and Ian, I'm fairly certain you have all of these in the LRN studio, paper, scissors, glue, and a printer. No glue. Well, you've got glue in like a room over, so okay. close enough. Yeah. Uh, those are all items that apparently are consistent with being used to print counterfeit currency. They were seized and placed into evidence. Several more counterfeit bills, both cut and uncut, were found in the apartment with an estimated face value between thirty and $50,000. <laughs> While the reporting officer was doing paperwork, another report was found where Downs had attempted to pass a $100 bill at an area restaurant in earlier in July. That bill was falling apart and did not have any markings to show that it was real. Here is the story from theskunk.org. <laughs> Which the that headline, sounds legitimate. The head, the uh, header graphic says "tasteless American satire for the ill-informed." So it's right there in your face. This is satire. This is not real. For those of you that actually know what satire means, I a- guess. at least with the Onion, they say America's finest news source. Yeah, uh, Denver. The way out of the country's economic woes is to let citizens print their own money," said President Barack Obama to a cheering crowd of unemployed construction workers in the Mile High City. <laughs> This was from 2009. Obama said, quote, This financial crisis is just too big for our resources in Washington. The government printing presses literally cannot keep up with the demand for new currency. <laughs> the White House put forth a plan to distribute 375 million printing presses to every man, woman, and child in the nation <laughs> so they can print their own U.S. currency. For those who have lost their jobs and are behind in their mortgage payments, when this legislation passes, you'll be able to crank up your own printing press and create the cash you need Right from your own living room. Yay, hyperinflation. Obama has called upon Congress to pass the individual currency printing legislation, estimated to cost taxpayers $4 trillion. But that's fine because you just print the money and then, you know, I'll just print off a $17 trillion bill and then we get the debt down to like $1 trillion. You know, there's there's reason... Now There's you're thinking. Darwin had this whole theory, survival of the fittest. <laughs> but when you have this thing called government that takes care of everybody with everyone else's money, you don't have that because everybody survives. And then you have silly people who believe things on the internet. But there still know. are the Darwin Awards that get given out every year to people that die in very unfortunate ways by being stupid. I feel like we live in idiocracy. Great movie, That's a great way. documentary but about the future. Oh, it's 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 very classist though, because it implies that smart people are rich and stupid people are poor. Welcome so to it's Costco. classi it's I classist <laughs> and and it's just it's just discrimin- discriminatory, you know, so you shouldn't watch it. Can so we go to Starbucks. I mean I think <laughs> Cecil in there may be something to your theory that the government uh has protected people to their own detriment. It's also That's incentivize like- them to have more children and be irresponsible. The, the people who shouldn't have them. children are Correct. incentivized to have the children. And I'm not saying yeah. shouldn't as in you're you're whatever person you shouldn't have child. As in you are not financially able to have a child. You are right. not emotionally able. You cannot provide for this child. You should probably you can't even reconsider. Provide for yourself. You can't take care of yourself. You certainly don't need to take care Why of yourself. Why do you think you can take care of a person? Yeah. Uh, speaking of you know like government protecting people from themselves, I saw something on Facebook that one of my Canadian friends posted where it was a picture of a coffee cup from like a fast food restaurant. And it said on there where like here in the U.S. it would say, caution, hot. hot. It yeah. said, if this cup were given to you in a different country, it would tell you this is hot. Thank God we're Canada. <laughs> it's a real thing, huh? Apparently. That's pretty funny. Either that or it's a damn good Photoshop. Yeah, for sure. Well, no, the the reason that most coffee cups say that, particularly at McDonald's, say hot, hot, hot are on the top is because a police officer actually back in, I think, 2008 Mm -hmm. in Ohio uh, sued McDonald's because they gave him a free coffee that burned him because he didn't know it was hot. If I'm I'm no, that's why they added the extra hot onto it. But 
back in the 90s, in the there 90s, was the yeah. uh, like nine billion year old woman that got a coffee, put it between her legs, and yep. then she's driving got down burns. the street and like had to squeeze her legs and <sighs> burnt herself and sued and, sued and was yeah, initially won. awarded $39 million. Was that overturned later? Uh, that was reduced, I believe, to like $13 million. Oh, what a hit. Eight fifty. Does she have to actually give that back? What happens there? If she, does she get the? Does she get? I guess if it's being appealed, then she doesn't get the money while it's being right. Appealed? You don't get the money okay. while it's still in court. All right. There's more on the way here, but here. I mean, so we found this story. This lady, she really did see something on the internet claiming that you could just print money now. So does that mean she gets out of the criminal charges no. since she was not knowingly doing something that she knew was illegal? Attention, business owners. Do you know the three most critical letters in business? CEO? MBA? Nope. Here's a hint. These three little letters can make the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. ROI? The answer is INC, as in incorporation. Because if you're not incorporated and someone sues your business, you can lose it all. Your home, your car, even your life savings. That's why Incorporate.com is now giving away a free incorporation guide to all business owners. So you can incorporate in just 10 minutes. Protect your home. Protect your car. Protect your life savings. Call 1-800-941-1029 for your free 10-minute incorporation guide from Incorporate.com. They don't provide legal or financial advice. They just make incorporating or forming an LLC quick and easy. Get the three little letters that can mean the difference between making a fortune and losing everything. For your free guide, call 1-800-941-1029. That's 1-800-941-1029. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. Call 1-888-379-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. So, disable the cable and get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-888-379-MY-TV. Right now, to sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and up to four rooms. And there's no equipment to buy. That includes your free HD TV upgrade, your free DVR upgrade, and your free professional installation. And the best part? The pristine digital picture and sound. Call 1-888-379-MY-TV. So, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-888-379-MY-TV. 1-888-379-MY-TV. Disable the cable, cut costs, and get more. Call 1-888-379-MY-TV. 1-888-379-MY-TV. This is a life-changing message for anyone with sleep apnea who is on the go and tired of dragging around a big, bulky home CPAP device. MiniCPAP.com now offers a portable device that's as small as a soda can and weighs less than a pound. For even more freedom, you can add a battery that's as tiny as a deck of cards. It's called the Transcend Mini CPAP, and right now you can try it risk-free for 21 days by calling 1-800-939-8536. Transcend is the world's first portable mini CPAP device. It gives you the freedom to sleep in total comfort anywhere you are. Our smallest and most advanced portable design ever, Transcend is so small and so light you can fit it in your briefcase or purse to use anywhere you go. It's FAA compliant too, so you can even sleep comfortably while flying. Enjoy the freedom to sleep comfortably anywhere. Call minicpap.com now for your 21-day in-home trial. 1-800-939-8536. That's 1-800-939-8536. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. In every age, a technology is created that upends the foundations of society, the wheel, the printing press, the internet. Now, in a world sliding into financial chaos, a new technology is changing the way monetary systems work around the world. It is called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a new form of money controlled not by banks, governments, or corporations, but through mutual commerce between free individuals. To learn more, visit WeUseCoins.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. 
This is Free Talk Live. Lady decided she was going to print out some of her own money. She read it. She wanted to make it rain. Make she it printed rain. it out. She glued it together. Because that's what you do when you make money. You use glue. And, and, and black and white two, ink. Like, two-sided you, you printing. How does that work? You, you don't use, you know, like <laughs> colors or anything. Well, well, Maybe Cecilyn, she was colorblind, man. If you do two-sided printing... It can look kind of bad, right? Like, you know, unless it's like really thick paper or whatever, one side, printing a, a graphic on one side of a piece of paper is kind of going to bleed through to the other side. Yeah. So it makes sense to print it and, and glue it together because then it'll look better. No. Sort of. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because then it falls apart. Like, she yeah. ran into the problem of it falling apart. If she took the extra time to make sure it was lined up properly and, and well, that it problem, wasn't upside down. The problem uh, was she tried to use it in real life at <laughs> uh, some department store. Gas station. And we'll continue with that discussion, uh, that story here in a moment, because we actually found online one of the stories that claims that it's now legal to print your own money. It's on a satire website, but apparently that went over her head. Uh, so we'll tell you more about that here. 855-450 free allows you to join the discussion here. Have you ever come across a counterfeit bill? Have you ever been working in you know retail, for instance, and has someone tried to uh, pass a counterfeit note to you? And and if so, how did you deal with that? Because I think that I just Handed having worked it in back having well having worked in retail, I just try to imagine what the scene was like with this lady. When she comes in there with black and white printed, folded, glued together uh, bills and tries to pay for something with it, I just wanted, you know, wonder what it was like to be standing there at the service counter or at the cash register and what you say to that person, how you handle that situation. I, I mean, me personally, since I've worked in, in retail yeah. and service and stuff, I've never had anything that egregious where it's like, you know, obviously counterfeit fit like that mm -hmm. but i have received counterfeit bills really? and there's uh two different times where there are two different companies i worked for the one simply you just you can't accept it the other mm -hmm. one uh required us to call the police to take the bill and wow. then call the police right then and there and the person actually like took off and like ran out the door and so they knew so they knew oh yeah they knew i was like there's the chance that the person doesn't know right like correct the person could play dumb or they could actually not know and like basically say well i thought it was somebody gave that to me I didn't print that. That was somebody else. Yeah. When, when I worked at a Dairy Queen in high school, there was somebody handed me, I think it was a $1 bill and a $10 bill taped together in such a way to where it said like 10 and it's obviously fake. And I just like handed it back to him and was like, this is fake. And he was like, what do you mean it's fake? I got it from the bank. I'm like, no, you didn't. Yeah, it's taped right. together. Give me something different. So Express Coin, you want to get... Something you can't, uh, that cannot be counterfeited, try Bitcoin. People have likely been trying to counterfeit Bitcoin for six years now. They've been unsuccessful because Bitcoin is cryptographically secure. There's math behind Bitcoin that basically can't be broken and it can't be counterfeited. If it could be, the peop there are people out there with the money and the interest and the time who would try to figure that out. Can't be done. So you want something, you want a currency that's secure. Bitcoin is that. And if you want to learn more about it, you can go to WeUseCoins.com. If you're ready to get Bitcoin, then go to ExpressCoin.com. You can also get some of the altcoins like Litecoin or Dogecoin there. It's fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They are a licensed money services business. You can get cryptocurrency with money order or check. So start off at ExpressCoin.com. Whether you're in the U.S. or Canada, ExpressCoin.com. You can do it from your smartphone. They've got an app over at expresscoin.com. Use coupon code FTL. You'll get up to $40 worth of cryptocurrency with no transfer fee at all. So great excuse to get your first Bitcoin. If you haven't done so yet, now might be a good time. Expresscoin.com. Coupon code FTL. Let's go to the phones and to the fun. We've got Akko. He is on the line in Cameroon calling from, I believe, your hometown. Akko, are you in, in DOP tonight? Oh, hello, Ian. Hello, Daryl. I'm calling right now from Dub, my hometown. Cecilyn is also here uh, with us. Uh, so welcome, Akko. What is it that you wanted to share with our audience tonight? Uh, yesterday, I was listening to the show while Mark was uh, uh, the host of the show. I was struck yesterday uh, when a caller from San Diego, California, proposed to sponsor Free Talk Life to Liberland. 
along the way, uh, Johnson proposed that that trip should be sponsored to Cameroon first. I ah. think it is a brilliant idea to sponsor that trip to Cameroon first before Liber land. Uh, Are you sure that, that we wouldn't be arrested upon arrival? <laughs> no, not at all. You guys are not going to be arrested. <laughs> because I think Cameroon has more pressing problems than Liberland. Because last time when I listened to the show, when you guys were discussing about Liberland, I I did much research on Liberland. I realized that Liberland is much more free and it is founded on the promise of liberty and freedom. They have some level of independence there. So I think Cameroon should be on your radar to be the first place to come. So that caller from San Diego should sponsor this trip to Cameroon first before going to Liberland. Well, I, I got to say, I wasn't on the show last night, so I didn't hear that call. But uh, how very generous of somebody to offer to sponsor Free Talk Live going to Liberland. Maybe uh, they just want you to all get arrested. I've been arrested a number of times uh, <laughs> but here. But never and, on international charges. It's true. Never in Croatia. I've never had uh, the opportunity to see the inside of a Croatian prison. <laughs> And I'm just going to leave that one to Crom. I don't want none of that. Yeah. I wonder if Europe would even let you into Europe because you weren't allowed into Canada. They wouldn't even let you in Canada, man. Yeah. I mean, my, I don't know. I mean, I don't know which countries are real picky about that kind of thing. They wouldn't let you in Canada. It was, you know, they were nice about it at least. Well. They wouldn't let us record them. I I think before you get arrested to go into a country, it depends on the intention that you have. If you are not a criminal, if you don't have any uh, negative intention, then I don't think you can get arrested. But, I mean, For example, the, if, if you intend on coming to Cameroon without causing any harm and promoting the ideas of liberty, I think you will be highly welcome here. Well, I'm sure that you would be welcoming us and your friends would be welcoming, welcoming us. But, uh, you know, weren't, didn't you call previously to tell us the Cameroon government was looking suspiciously at you, Akko? Yes, they have been looking at me, but I don't think they will get to know the reasons why you guys have come to Cameroon. Because we have many tourists, many American tourists coming from the U.S. to Cameroon. Well, I appreciate your optimism. Uh, on the other hand, I, uh, I'm not so much interested in doing world travel, but uh, thank you for the invitation. And uh, Akko, anything else you want to share with our audience tonight? Yes, I am very happy that the LRN.FM app is out. I think many people are going to listen to the radio on their smartphone. That is a brilliant idea. Well, they already could. I mean, it's not like this is the first time people could listen on their smartphone. There are probably dozens of different ways that you can listen to Free Talk Live and LRN.FM via your smartphone. This is just an official app for LRN.FM, so you know, in case you haven't yet gotten a solution this works for you and of course also the satellite signal is available there in cameroon for those that don't have uh, internet access akko thank you for the uh, the generous invitation i appreciate it and thanks for the call tonight uh, the toll-free number here is 855 450 free uh i've you know i've been arrested a handful of times uh, here in new hampshire for acts of civil disobedience and non-cooperation and things like that and uh, i don't think i really want to get arrested in liberland that's not where i've kind of staked my claim so to speak i'm willing to be arrested to stand up for the ideas of freedom but not... that's not your hill man yeah that's i think that's the best way to put it Cecilin. there's more coming up here in moments 855 450 free but if mark wants to go then he should totally do that <laughs> it's free talk live <laughs> Did you know some countries are now banning GMO foods? It's true. That's why for quality storable foods, you need ready-made resources. For over 19 years, we've become the name you can trust for thousands of products, like Numana Healthy Food Storage. All Numana storable foods are non-GMO, non-soy and gluten-free available. Call 800-627-3809 or click readymaderesources.com. Ready-made resources. We don't just sell the products, we live it. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. 
Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Liberty activists around the country are starting to realize politics alone won't set us free. So what will? At Liberty on the Rocks, we believe the answer starts with living your principles, spreading ideas, and connecting with those around you. By starting a Liberty on the Rocks network, you can make a difference by uniting libertarian thinkers. Find out how much fun it is to build your local network from the ground up. Visit libertyontherocks.org today to get started. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You can dial in toll-free to share your thoughts, whether it's on this lady who is one of the worst counterfeiters in the world who printed out money on her printer that she bought at Walmart and... Kept the receipt in the purse. Where she kept the counterfeit money as well. Yes. And she printed it out black and white, folded it in half, and, like, taped... Did, would she use tape or just glue? Glue. Okay, glue... And we, we don't even know if she folded it. She could have like printed all the fronts on one piece of paper, all the could've. backs on another, cut them out because they found scissors. Right. And the scissors were in her purse. The scissors you know, were in the purse. No, at her house. Okay. Uh, part of the instruments used for creation of counterfeit currency, along with the glue, the paper, and the printer. And my guess is pretty much everybody listening has those items in their house. So if you have those, just don't get caught with counterfeit money, and then they won't seize them from you. I think this lady has a case, and I'll explain here in a moment. Joining you in the studio tonight, by the way, it is Ian here. I'm Cecily. And Daryl. And if you are getting online at all, you really need to protect yourself online, and ProXPN can do that for you. They encrypt your internet connection. You can try it out for free right now by going to ProXPN.com slash FTL. Wherever you are in the world, ProXPN can help protect you. They've got apps for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, and Linux. You get it installed, up and running, and you are encrypted, meaning that criminals sniffing your Wi-Fi packets will be foiled. Your own Internet service provider will no longer be able to know where you're going and what you're doing online. It's very handy. Plus, ProXPN 
does not keep records of your online habits. And you get it with a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. That's when you upgrade to their premium account. You get that guarantee because there's a free account that you can try right now at proxpn.com slash FTL. Use code FTL50 and you'll save 50% off the regular monthly price when you buy an annual account with that code FTL50. Breaks the price down to around 5 bucks a month and it's good for the lifetime of the account, which is pretty awesome. With the premium account, by the way, you get unlimited bandwidth. Servers around the world you can access. You can privately torrent, get past regionally blocked websites, and you can do it all over at proxpn.com slash FTL. Use promo code FTL50 to get a great discount on privacy. That is priceless. So I think this lady's got a case. And like a lot, in a lot of cases uh, that where the government charges people with uh, crimes or non-crimes or whatever, that you know, there's usually a better case than a lot of people think because it's just so scary and intimidating going through the court process. Most people will just take a plea deal, and they'll never even do so much as read the statutes that they're being charged under. Now, this lady, who is a terrible counterfeiter, uh, and counterfeiting is fraud, so I'm not advocating that counterfeiting is like some sort of victimless crime or anything like that. But if you actually go and you read the, the statutes, which is, I know, it's hard to read criminal statutes and codes and things like that. This is written in legalese. A lot of times it can be very confusing. This one doesn't seem too confusing. It's pretty straightforward here. She's been charged in Tennessee with so-called criminal simulation as well as counterfeiting. Now, Tennessee, I could not find a counterfeiting code. I did find one for forgery from Tennessee, but I did find the criminal simulation code, uh, section 3914.115. The most important line is the first one. A person commits the offense of criminal simulation who, with intent to defraud or harm another, and then they go on to talk about, you know, counterfeiting, like making things that are false, etc. cetera. Uh, so if you don't have the intent to defraud, then it's not a crime. And what this lady is saying is she saw an article online that said that Obama had made some sort of proclamation or signed a law into effect that actually legalized individuals printing their own money. Now, I went and I looked for that. And of course, if you're if you want to search for that article, you have to search before the last few days. So you, I had to do a custom Google search because if you start if you search for like Obama allows printing of money, then you'll find all the stories about this lady. Right. So if you set your Google search for you know July first and before that, then you'll come up with the satire story that we shared with you earlier in the hour from on, Skunk.com. Uh, it was theskunk.org. Theskunk.org back from two thousand nine tasteless American satire for the ill-informed. I mean, it's right there in, in your face that this is satire, but that kind of stuff goes over the heads of some people. So I believe this lady when she says she saw on the internet that it was legal to print your own money. That's what this article says. I mean, it's a ridiculous article. I mean, from top to bottom, it's absolutely ludicrous saying that they're going to spend $4 trillion giving printing presses to each of 300 plus million Americans so each American can print their own money with their own printing press funded by the government. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. But this lady, based on the ineptitude of the counterfeiting, you know, printing it on computer paper, printing in black and white. Well, she had to use together. her printer at home because she never got her printing press i know what it, thanks obama those, those darn government guys are always breaking their promises gluing bits and pieces upside down but together. Right. the fact that she was so inept at at putting this together is evidence that she really did believe this isn't it like if you were in if you were her attorney this is what you would try to convince the jury of. i in wonder this case. if the attorney will take some of the counterfeited money then <laughs> and the backside upside down <laughs> Yeah, that would be hilarious. Oh my God. I wonder if um, she actually used like the template of regular. Like, did she scan? Did in she scan an mm -hmm. actual dollar bill? Did she use like Microsoft Paint to make up a dollar bill? Good that question. Just said what kind like of, I five dollars. Did she find it on the internet? Like, what kind of resolution did Good she question. use? Was it pixelated? I want to see HD? this. <laughs> I, I can't believe what it, it looks it. like. I can't believe we don't have a picture of this woman's efforts. I want to picture of I want to critique her skills and be like, look, lady, you need to go back to graphic yeah. design school. This does is she, just nope. Nope, Does she look like she just stepped out of the Appalachian Mountains or something like that? <laughs> uh, she looks like she just left Walmart. I used to live there. I know what those people look like. <laughs>
wild so, and wonderful way to West Virginia. And she may there you go. enjoy Waffle House. Okay. Oh, right. Waffle House. But, that mean, was one of my favorite places in Ohio. Look, okay, so I don't want to make it sound like I think she would actually have a good chance of succeeding in court. I just think she has a case. Uh, because <laughs> because there was I got convicted uh, last year of some charges of uh, unsworn falsification. And it's a long story, but to boil it down, it was essentially a paperwork snafu with the DMV. And I did not have intent to defraud those people. I did not at all have that intent. And I tried to argue that point in court, but I was found guilty anyway. So, But only one of the two charges even mentioned knowingly or intent. That's true. But I was found guilty of both of them anyway. And the one that said knowingly was knowingly possessed two identifications. Which you knew that you had two identifications. Yeah, Ian, you're not a real activist. I don't think that was what You had the one from Florida that you knew that you had, and you had the one from New Hampshire that you knew that you had. You knew that you had two identifications. Well, I don't recall exactly what the uh, the text of the law said, but the whole knowingly thing was in there, and it was my uh, belief that I wasn't. You, you committing were any trying kind of to apply the knowingly act. to the filing a false document, and the word knowingly was not in the one about the document. Hmm. It was in the one about knowingly possesses more than one identification. Wait, the documents that Alex Jones has? No. Oh. So anyway, I think that this lady no, has a chance. No, those are all on Prison Wars and Info Planet. I think she has. I think she's got a shot here if she actually doesn't take the plea deal. And she's going to take a plea deal. They're going to drop one of the chart. They might drop the counterfeiting, get her on the criminal simulation, and yeah. she'll wind up having to do community service. Criminal simulation is a Class E felony in Tennessee. Now I don't know if that means it's a bad felony or like a not so bad felony. Yeah, I don't know. Class A could be the bad felony. Class E could be, I don't know. I, I'm surprised in Tennessee they're able to go that far down on letters. <laughs> <laughs> Toll free number tonight, 855-450 free. You can share your thoughts here, especially if you've been in retail and how you've dealt with the situation of a counterfeiter coming in, or at least someone with a counterfeit bill. I mean, it seems like the, the most compassionate thing to do is what you were talking about, Daryl, earlier, where you just tell the person, I'm sorry, we can't take that. And then just let them leave. That seems like the most compassionate thing, or at least to say something else like, come on, man, you got to be kidding. Or just have, have some sort of conversation with the person like, this isn't right. You know, this is a counterfeit bill and you need to get out of here. But then to call the police, uh, you know, I think I, I feel like that's taking it too far. But I can understand why somebody would. It is an act of fraud, even though, of course, you could argue that the federal government is doing the same thing by printing these bills out and them having no backing to them. But that's another story. Our toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. Coming up, big success in the free state. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. All right, so suddenly Walmart, eBay, Amazon, everybody wants to ban the rebel flag. Well, the rebel flag is an important part of American history. The rebel flag is still a long-standing symbol of Southern pride and Southern heritage. So if the big retailers want to play into political correctness and try to deny the history of America, let them. Go to ourflags.com. That's our, like rebel, our, the letter R, ourflags.com. Get your rebel flag before they actually do outlaw the things, huh? Ourflags.com. That's ourflags.com. Go now. This is Dan Pillard. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX 
That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Keenvention is coming up October 30th through November 1st. Get your tickets now at keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. Explore Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel from 2013 on. This year, Activist of the Year Daryl W. Perry and Chris Cantwell will be keynoting. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or pay with Bitcoin. That includes access to the Hallo Keen Costume Dance Party. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more speaker announcements or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Keenvention.info. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. New Hampshire is under quarantine as walking corpses devour the flesh of the living. Max is 11 years old and surviving alone. Slow moving and non-thinking, the dead swarm his home. Now he must apply his porcupine Freedom Scouts training to improvise his escape. Look for Survivor Max on Facebook, read reviews on Amazon, or read Chapter 1 at SurvivorMax.com. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, and you may join us here on the toll-free lines, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. And also Skype. You can Skype into the show here. Username's lrn.fm. Send a contact request over first. We'll approve it. And then once you're approved, you're good to go. Call us on Skype from that point forward. And we're going to do a little experimental radio coming up on Monday night. We'll be doing a Skype-only show so we'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll totally bomb, uh, or maybe we'll have wall-to-wall Skype calls or something in between. Should be interesting. So get your Skypes loaded up beforehand. That way you're not scrambling in the moment to figure it out. Uh, so our toll-free number again, 855-450-FREE. Skype username's lrn.fm. And if you support Free Talk Live and you want to help uh, get behind the show, you can do that for 5 bucks a month as an amplifier. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote, and it's a simple concept. You send 5 bucks a month in via any major credit card through PayPal or use Visa or MasterCard on our website, and then you get perks like access to the, uh, the AMP-only phone lines, the AMP-only Facebook group, and more. So go once again to amp.freetalklive.com. That's AMP dot free talk live dot com now uh Cecilyn, you've got some good news and you know we, we do get good news quite often up here in new hampshire given that there's the free state project that the three of us are all participants in we've all moved here uh from other places you from virginia right uh, i'm from ohio but i moved up from virginia okay and then daryl who's from alabama but moved from texas and i'm from florida and moved from florida so people coming from all over the place to be more free and to get together with other people of that same mindset. We talk a lot about the folks who've been elected to state house, and we don't talk so much about the other people who've been elected, right? Like it's a big thing to tout, oh, we've got more than a dozen or 15 or so free state project participants who actually have been elected to the state house. And that's because that's sort of the the biggest position or whatever. And in New Hampshire, it's really not that big of a position because there's 400 of them. They individually don't have very much power. But still, that's a huge success to be able to say that libertarians and voluntarists are actually winning elections to the state house. Well, guess what? They're also getting elected and appointed to other positions in small towns all across New Hampshire. 
And that's uh, one of the things that's, uh, I guess, I don't know, if, I, mean, I guess it's not necessarily a secret that this person who's involved in this story is a Free State Project participant. Uh, but one of the town selectmen of a local town here in, in, actually in this area, helped to overturn, and he's a Free Stater, helped to overturn some bad stuff that had happened there. Cecil, and you've got the story. Yeah, so both people in this are actually, uh, to my knowledge, are Free State Project participants. And the, the article that I'm going to read comes from Truth and Media, but I actually read this in my news feed on Facebook first, originally, because mm-hmm. someone kind of relayed the story. Um, but So, Alstead, New Hampshire, a conflict at a New Hampshire it's recreation. Alstead is what I'm Alstead? told. Alstead? Isn't it, Al- isn't Alstead? Isn't it Alstead? I don't know. I pronounced it one way and was told it's the other, but I can't remember which one's right. All right. Hold that thought, Cecilyn. I want to make sure we get Sean in here in Vegas first. Sean, you're on Free Talk Live. Uh, yeah. I was calling in about that counterfeiting. Yes, um, sir. I work as a dealer on the Strip in Las Vegas, ah. and uh, we deal with counterfeit bills all the time, actually. Really? You'd be surprised how often you get them in. How often are we um, talking about? Probably monthly. Hmm. You find something, and a lot of times it's, you know, they've picked it up from a restaurant or something and it doesn't even seem malicious, like right. they ended up getting handed it somewhere. And uh, and what's but, the range of, uh, like, believability here? I mean, is it obvious based on the, the kind of the paper? Most of them are good. The ones that we get are, are pretty solid. Like, you might feel the paper feels a little bit weird. Mm-hmm. The ink might be uh, off tent a little bit. Um. Uh, some of the shiny spots, like the one of the major things, uh, Secret Service actually comes in and give us, gives us pamphlets on it every year. Because hmm. uh, most people don't know, but counterfeit bills is all dealt with by Secret Service. So whenever we get them, we actually have a Secret Service department here in Vegas, and they come and pick them up themselves. It doesn't go through the police department. Wow. Because that's the division of the Secret Service. That's one of the jobs that they do is deal with counterfeit money. So you've seen this a lot. I mean, how many times have you personally realized when somebody passes you a bill? Because you've got to be dealing with um, money all day. I mean, it, it must. I was going to say I don't, and I don't deal with cash all that much either. You know, the cashiers catch it all the time. Oh, up you're at the front, but I'm sitting at the table. I'm dealing, so uh, I might get bills here and there. And right, you're only I, you dealing know, with chips. I, so you would. I'm mostly dealing with chips. What's yeah. a situation in which you would get a bill, a tip from somebody? Will they tip in cash? Somebody wants to buy uh, more no, chips. They might buy chips at the table. Oh, they you know can. What I mean? So they're going to buy chips from me instead of buy chips from the from the cashier. Uh, see, I've never I been to poker, so people this normally place. come to the table with chips. Right. Instead so of like it. blackjack, you might buy your chips at the table more often. Ah. Uh, 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 a lot yeah, of the, I, I've been to casinos. So let let me just sort of explain the process <laughs> to Ian, who He's has never, never been gone to a casino. No. So. There are two ways that you can buy your chips. At the window. You can go to the window, yeah. or you can just figure out whatever game it is you want to play, go sit down, and then when the dealer has a moment, you hand them your money and say, I want to buy 20 or 10 or whatever, and then they'll you know count out the chips, give you the chips. And there's no change involved. So if you hand them a 20 and say you want 10, they give you 20 because they have this little slot they put the money in. That makes sense. Right. And it's so, faster to not give change. To. Let's say that you're, you know, not necessarily on a roll, but for whatever reason you want more chips and you've still got some. You don't want to get up, walk over to the cashier window, and then you're leaving your chair open. So you like, you know, reach in, grab out another ten or twenty or whatever, hand it to the dealer, and say, you know, more chips. More chips, please. Sean. Yep. And then. I actually deal in poker where, like, that's mostly how it works in, in pick games like blackjack and craps and stuff like that. But in poker, uh, we actually have chip runners that will come and grab your money and bring you chips because we don't have chips in front of us. Uh, we only have, like, small change chips. We don't have the chips for the game in front of us. So that we even deal with less money for that reason because we have chip runners that actually deal with it. Hmm. And, and poker is separate from all the – so, like, Texas Hold'em and stuff like that is separate from Blackjack and Craps and all the other games like that. I, I imagine that in so, a place like Vegas, uh, the policy is to call the police as opposed to just tell the person that they're not welcome there. Uh, yeah, we don't uh, – We, if we know somebody, like, the last time it happened, it was a local that had gotten them, um, and he brought them in. And I can't remember where he ended up getting them from. He didn't tell us very much, but – they actually, like I said, the Secret Service actually sends people over mm-hmm. to, to take care of it right there on the spot because it's such a commonality in our area. We 
get it. I mean, not us specifically, but I mean, obviously, there's dozens and dozens of casinos around here that get counterfeit bills all the time. You yeah. know, if you're going to do counterfeiting, yeah, or, you better be on your best uh, best game if you're going to try to pull it off in Vegas. Yeah, I mean, but money moves real quick around here. You know, like you said, you can disappear a bill down a slot at a, at a blackjack table real fast. So that's what they hope for, something like that. And then sometimes they get put back into rotation because people just don't notice them, and some of them. They used to do the washing of the bills, where they'll wash a hundred or a one dollar bill and turn it into a hundred dollar bill. Those are the ones that are the are the best. You know, what wow, I mean? I've never even heard of them. Out. Interesting. And that way, it's the same paper, so the paper feels right and it right. looks right. And uh, but then when you check to look at the strip, the strip says one dollar. Well, actually, uh, it'll say five or ten because they normally use fives or tens. They don't use ones because ones don't have a strip in them. Right. But uh, you check the strip and it says five dollar bill, but it's printed a hundred. Wow, so, good stuff. Uh, thanks for so sharing so, that, Sean. Anything else you want to get out there tonight? No, just looking forward to meeting up with you guys. We're headed your guys' way over here in a couple of months. We're moving out there. Hopefully by March we'll be there. So Really? Can't That's... wait to do some real activism out there with you all. Make sure, awesome. to, uh, make sure to contact uh, the FSP and get a hold of Chris, and she'll get you set up with like a move-in party, and yeah. folks will come out and help you move in. And uh, come, Make sure to come out to the new movers party as well, first Tuesday of every month in, in Manchester. Manch. Open to awesome. uh, anybody. Yeah, that sounds great. Hey, Sean, congrats on your decision uh, to make the move up here. I imagine you're going to be looking for other gambling-related jobs up this way. Um, I do a lot of different stuff. I used to be an eBay power seller and do a bunch of different stuff. So I don't, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We got some time and some space for in a decent spot in life. So I'm not going to be in a huge hurry to have to jump into anything. Cool. Hey, so thanks for the call wanna, tonight, man. Enjoy it. Check the area out and see what we like. You awesome. Know? That's a good plan. And thank you again for the call. Appreciate it. Toll free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. Now, actually, Cecilyn, you were about to get into this story from, uh, where was it published again? I'm spacing on that. Oh, ben From uh, truthinmedia.com. Truth in Media. And it's about this uh, town selectmen. Or yep. Let me just read the first line and yeah, it'll please. kind of give you a little teaser. Uh, so, Alstead, is that how I'm supposed to say it? Alstead? I don't know. We'll ask. Alstead, whatever. We'll actually ask New the Hampshire. guy because he's a, on the line. A conflict in New Hampshire recreation area where two people were open carrying led to the town wiping out all of its local gun restrictions dating back to 1763. That's pretty cool news. And we'll share more of it here in moments. We actually have one of the town selectmen on the line okay. on Skype. And you can join us. If you're on Skype, you can call us on uh, Skype username LRN.FM or dial toll-free 855-450-FREE. Hour number three is on the way. This is Free Talk Live. Hey, guys, I'm Tim Baker. I'm Daniel Brown. And I'm Sean Stewart. And we are the You, Me, and BTC podcast. Cryptocurrency decrypted. Us three chumps love to talk too much, and for some reason other people seem to enjoy it. That's why we started You, Me, and BTC, which, which is your Bitcoin and Liberty podcast. Find our show at youmeandbtc.com every Thursday. We also post Bitcoin-related reviews, opinion articles, and much more. Subscribe, like, and follow at youmeandbtc.com. Growth can be an intimidating six-letter word, especially when the guys upstairs want 7% of it. That's why you need one eight-letter word, G-R-A-I-N-G-E-R. Granger, the G is for growth. From industry specialists to over a million products across almost every category, Granger has the resources to help us grow. Now, can you guess what my favorite four-letter word is? W-O-R-K. Let's get back to it. Get it? Got it? Good. Call, click Granger.com or stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. LRN.FM is proud to announce our official listening apps for Android and iOS devices. Now you can easily tune into our streams anywhere, anytime on your smartphone or tablet. Just visit apps.lrn.fm or search for LRN.FM in the Android or Apple app stores. Please download, rate it five stars, then share the link on social media, and let your friends and family know how you're listening to LRN.FM. Download it now, free at apps.lrn.fm. That's apps.lrn.fm. 
You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, July 17th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.99 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,144 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $276. Antiwar.com reports those who were able to leave left a long time ago. The easternmost part of the Sunni-dominated Anbar province is obviously going to be the front lines of a bloody war between the Islamic State and the Iraqi government, which is backed by Shiite militias. It hasn't been the easiest place to flee from, with the area around the cities a war zone. At this point, tens of thousands of civilians in places like Fallujah are just plain stuck in the middle of the offensive, with the Islamic State urging them to stay put, the Islamic State fighters putting explosives on the road into town trying to keep invaders out, and Iraqi forces shelling the same roads to keep the Islamic State from coming out to meet them. Even if they could get out, their options are limited. Fleeing deeper into Anbar just means they're going to be a target of the offensive a little later, and the Iraqi government has viewed Sunni Arab refugees with distrust as possible the Islamic State infiltrators. Past offensives into Fallujah, including the U.S. offensives during last decade's occupation, have been bloody indeed. The Shia militias spearheading the current offensives have a long history of violent recriminations against the civilian population after their offensives as well, leaving the civilians to wait and worry. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports the Board of Supervisors for Maricopa County, Arizona on Wednesday voted to settle part of a lawsuit against controversial Sheriff Joe Arpaio that accused his office of using discriminatory practices such as targeting Hispanics. The settlement will include renewed training of deputies and policy changes, but no monetary damages. The trial was scheduled to begin next month, but now the sheriff will face just one charge during the proceedings instead of four. Supervisor Steve Gallardo said of the settlement, the sheriff's office put us in a situation we should have never been in. The agreement also mandates the sheriff's office to establish an official policy prohibiting retaliation against any individual for any individual's lawful expression of ideas in the exercise of the First Amendment right to freedom of speech. Arpaio, Maricopa County Sheriff since 1993, is well known across the Southwest for taking some critical views as a hardline anti-immigration position. In the past, Arpaio had been accused of abusing power, misuse of public funds, failure to investigate sex crimes, unlawful enforcement of immigration laws, and election law violations. Wednesday's agreement settles three of the four Justice Department charges against the Arizona Sheriff. The allegations that Arpaio retaliated against public officials punished jail inmates for speaking Spanish and conducted workplace raids that targeted Latinos. The fourth allegation that Arpaio's office targets Latino motorists will be the subject of a trial on August 10th. Gallardo said, people want their day in court. Most of these issues in the settlement are already moot. People have been pulled over, profiled, and they want to talk about these cases. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports Europe moved to reopen funding to Greece's stricken economy on Thursday after the parliament in Athens approved a new bailout program and a vote that left the government without a majority. The European Central Bank increased emergency funding for Greek lenders, although capital controls will have to remain in place to avoid a run on the banks when they reopen on Monday. European Union finance ministers also approved 7 billion euros in bridge loans to Greece, allowing it to make a bond payment to the European Central Bank next Monday and clear its arrears with the International Monetary Fund. The loans will be finalized on Friday, provided Germany's parliament approves a request to open talks on a three-year bailout program. 
Greece's third in the past five years, worth up to 86 billion euros. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. Americans across the nation made their voices heard this week as they demanded more mind-blowing guitar solos. Calling for the solos to be, quote, face-meltingly cool and go on for well over 10 minutes, Americans stressed that all guitar solos from now on should be equally as kick-ass as those in Van Halen's Hot for Teacher and ACDC's Thunderstruck, or even better. It should start out really slow, you know, and then get faster and faster until they're all the way up at the top of the guitar neck and bending the notes like crazy, so it's like, no, 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 and then there's all this awesome pyrotechnic stuff going off in the background. They should all be like that. And in this week's local news, a report noted that on its surface, Glenbrook, Ohio is a small town like any other, a peaceful all-American town. And yet, the report's authors added, if you only look closer, what you find may surprise you. In other news, a man is just having one of those decades where he doesn't feel like doing anything. This is the Onion News Network. Back now with more Free Talk Live. You can join us here toll free at 855 450 free or Skype in at Skype username lrn.fm with you in studio tonight. It's Ian. Cecilyn. And Daryl. And we're going to tell you, and Cecilyn will be telling us about a story from Alstead, New Hampshire. Alstead. And that is a town that's somewhat nearby here uh, in Keene, the Keene area where a n- number of Free State Project participants have made the move and have gotten active. And in a small town, a few movers can make a big difference. And, uh, you know, we've got the story from Truth and Media, but I don't know how much of it we need to really share because we actually have the man himself, yeah, Chris, who is, uh, you may recognize his voice. Way to steal my thunder, Chris. Because he was actually on Free Talk Live on Sunday night this last week. So, Chris, welcome back to Free Talk Live. Hey, guys. The one thing I bring to the show, man, and you just got to steal it. Wow. (laughs) Wow. I I say you do your thing. (laughs) No, I want to hear from you, honey. Yeah, so what happened, Chris? Tell the the story. Yeah, well, every year uh, we have a a local recreational area called Vilas Pool, and every year we have Vilas Pool Days. It's a big event. They have face painting for kids, and the fire truck shows up and sprays water over the pool and all sorts of things like that. It's a nice family day. We had a couple people show up, um, one of which is a a Free State participant who likes to open carry. And both of these people were open carrying. I don't know who the other guy was. I wasn't there. I was traveling back from Pennsylvania. And they were open carrying, and they were informed by a member of the board of directors for Vilas Pool that this had been declared a gun-free zone Uh and that they should remove their firearms from the premises. Now, this is government property? This Phyllis pool? Yes, it is. It is public property or owned by the town or however you want to put that. Now, this is New Hampshire, and I'm shocked that there would be any sort of rule like that here, and apparently you were as well. I was, uh, very much so. So uh, one of the gentlemen, uh, Gordon Kemp, who was referenced in the article, um, he called me up. I was driving through the middle of Pennsylvania, I think, at the time, and said, uh, who owns Phyllis pool? I'm like, well, that's a good question. And I was actually in a position to answer that because I had just asked for, in an unrelated matter, the deed to Vilas Pool. Hmm. So <laughs> our, our our administrative assistant had dug it up and shot it over to me in an email. So I'm like, let me forward that over to you. And I'm pretty sure it's town property. And he checked it and said, yes, it was. And so, okay, well, by then there was, I guess, some question with another gentleman there and and – the long and the short of it was the the board of director person had called our local uh, police officer, one of two, to try to sort this all out and see what what the deal was. So he comes out and politely asks if we could remove uh, the gun and and just from the premises while he's there, and everything went fine from that point forward. In other words, there was no screaming matches or, or threats or anything like that. The guy just said, yeah, no problem. You can keep it in your cruiser, and we'll figure it out later. 
Yeah, unlike other places where an issue with a gun would have resulted in a huge police response, the Bearcat being called out, you know, if this was yeah. New York, somebody would be uh, in handcuffs. Or dead. Yep. Right. Yeah. So here's where the confusion lies. This area was given as a gift to the town years and years ago, back in the 1930s, by a guy named Charles Vilas, hence the name Vilas Pool. Ah. And it is operated by a private trust. He also donated, in addition to this land that he gave to the town, he also donated a, a large sum of money, which sits in savings accounts and things like that, that operates all the things they have there, you know, the stack bar and takes care of the buildings and all that kind of good stuff from this money that sits there. Hmm. So a common misconception is that Vilas Pool is owned by the Vilas Trust. It's not. Uh -huh. So I think, and and when I look at this, um, at the action of, okay, so, so that kind of brings us up to where everything happened, and I'm talking to my buddy about what's going on. The real misconception, I think this may have been, um, well, let me address the issue of whether this was declared a gun-free zone. I had heard, I had been told before that Alstead's select board at some point had declared all public buildings and public properties gun-free. Totally illegal. Yes, absolutely. In New and Hampshire, that's yes. illegal. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I promptly asked for that. The reason somebody told me is because everybody knows that I carry. I carry consistently. And while I conceal carry, I'm I'm sure I print occasionally, and people notice that there's printing a bulge. is yeah, it's where you can I, see the gun kind of through someone's shirt or something like that. Exactly. Oh, I thought it's when you like wrote up your own currency and no, then no, glued kind of the front to the back. Daryl, that oh. was a different story, honey. Yep. Yeah, last keep story. up. <laughs> um, so they had mentioned to me, and I said, "Okay, produce it," because the only thing I'm producing is Article Two A of the New Hampshire Constitution that says you can't infringe on my rights. Mm. Um, and they never did. And I've asked this a couple times, and nobody's ever been able to produce. Now, of whom you are know, you asking this? I'm asking um, former selectmen, current selectmen. I've I've asked uh, administrative staff at our offices, things like that. You want to see what has been passed, if anything, in the past that should that's you know outlaws guns on public property. Yeah, because as soon as I heard that, I'm, I'm like, well, this isn't right. No one had ever been able to produce it. Mm. So. Part of me is going, okay, well, maybe this problem doesn't exist, but, you know, we have to address it at some point. I'm a relatively new selectman, so, you know, I've, I've been doing this for less than six months. It and was... you were appointed, by the way. Is that right? That's true. And, yep. and and just as an aside, this is something that can happen in New Hampshire where you move to New Hampshire, you move to some small town or even a larger city, but more likely in a, a smaller town, and you get active sort of in the community and you start mm -hmm. coming to different meetings of uh, the town council and things like that, and or the selectmen or whatever they're called. And then all of a sudden, you, somebody's appointing you to some board, or in this case, you got appointed as a selectman. Well, he Correct. started off, Chris, what was the uh, citizen budget panel thing that you were on before you were the selectman? Yeah, shortly after arriving here, I recommended to the selectman that they create an advisory budget committee because their, their, every meeting was just basically a free-for-all about whether we should spend any money. The town had, uh, the, the, the town meeting had voted down the selectmen's budget the previous year, and they had imposed a 3% cap. It, and it was almost like the selectmen were afraid to spend anything. So nothing was getting done. Um, and I just said, you know, instead of all this, why don't you get a bunch of people that probably have a lot of diverse backgrounds in finance and, and operating businesses and all walks of life to give you guys a little bit of advice on your finances? They thought that was a great idea, so we got that started. Nice. Yeah. And this so was, was this was when I you did. were brand new to town. You were able to have that level of influence. That was I think maybe a month and a half after I was here. That's yeah. amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. 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 Um so yeah, when when a position b became vacant, um they they asked me if I would be a selectman and I I agreed to do well, so. Well, right, because normally selectmen are elected, but somebody did they quit or move out of town or something like that? Family issues. Gotcha. Yeah. So they yeah, resigned. They, just, they resigned and and that was and it. So how long are you in for? What's the term of selectmen where you live? 
a selectman's term is three years. I'm in for the remaining year of this gentleman's term. So I would be up for election should I choose to run next March. And all right. So back to the uh, the current story. So you're looking yeah. to try to find these supposed ordinances or whatever that the town yeah. had passed at some point in the past that were rumored and no one could cough them up. <laughs> Can't find them. It, it's like a lost set of car keys. Nobody has any idea where this is. But, but everybody wait a minute. Seems Hold on. Are there that many something? ordinances in Alstead, New Hampshire, <laughs> to where you, you know, I mean, how many tomes of law are we talking about? <laughs> I'll tell you a dirty little secret about small towns. They're not always the best organized. So frequently things will get passed, quote unquote, passed in a selectman's meeting, and they don't go any further than they were written into the minutes. Oh, wow. And that's it. That's it. All right. Stand by, Chris. Can you stick with us to tell the rest of the story? Because I know there's a little bit more about how you handled this because they couldn't find the ordinances so what do they do about it, right? Like they did something, and it was actually a unanimous vote. We'll tell you about that coming up here in moments. It's a very New Hampshire story. This one is 855 450 free. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now. Don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. Identity theft is real. So real, it could be making you its next victim right now. At the gas pump, bank, or store where you shop with your credit card, bad guys with RFID scanners can peer into your wallet or purse from a short distance away. Stealing information from your RFID-enabled credit or debit cards, passports, room keys, and ID cards without you even knowing it. Stop the bad guys now with an RFID-blocking wallet from ID Stronghold. ID Stronghold founded the entire RFID blocking industry over 10 years ago. Their stylish sleeves, clutch purses, and wallets are shielded throughout. The best you can buy at great pricing, as low as $14.99. Don't wait until your wallet needs replacing. Protect your identity now. Click IDStronghold.com or call 1-800-610-2770. That's 1-800-610-2770. ID Stronghold, the original RFID wallet company. Cato University is the Cato Institute's premier educational event of the year. It's being held this year from July the 26th to the 31st at the Cato Institute's state-of-the-art headquarters in Washington, D.C. This annual program brings together outstanding faculty and participants from across the country and often from around the globe, with everyone sharing a commitment to liberty and learning. Cato University is a genuine community, and you can freely share viewpoints, concerns, ideas, questions, and more in an atmosphere of friendship and personal respect. It's a -a one-of-a-kind program for people who don't stop thinking after they got out of school. It's for people who don't want politicians or bureaucrats or officials to do their thinking for them. It's for people who value liberty. You'll learn. You'll be inspired. You'll make new friends. You'll meet great people from around the world. All of the details are spelled out at the Cato website, cato.org, and they hope to see you there this summer, July the 26th through the 31st in Washington, D.C. Again, details are at cato.org. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road Underground Market. 
The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross has been sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Now, an appeal is Ross's only chance and he needs your support. Please visit freeross.org where you can contribute via various methods including Bitcoin. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. You may join us here toll-free on Free Talk Live. Our number is 855-450-FREE, 855-450-3733. We're talking about the impact that just a few people can have on the political process here in New Hampshire. Of course, we've mentioned a number, a numerous amount of times in the past that the hosts of the show are almost to a T, Free State Project participants, meaning we've picked up our lives and moved here to New Hampshire as part of this movement of what will hopefully be, at some point, 20,000 liberty-minded people all converging to the same geographic area to work together and work with the people who are native to New Hampshire to achieve more liberty in our lifetime. It's going to be a magical time. It's already a place that is a good place to start. There's no personal income tax. There's no state sales tax. I mean, there's a lot of great reasons to move here. You can actually watch a documentary film about the 101 reasons why liberty lives in New Hampshire. Uh, you can do that over at 101reasonsfilm.com. Just click the watch video button. Is the website back up? It is not. You um, can go to freestateproject.com and the 101 reasons, There, the video's right there, as well as dot the- .org? Dot, sorry, dot .org. Dot .org. What happens Free when you go to freestateproject.com? I, I think they bought it. I, I hope think they it, did. I think it came up and they bought it. Um, but uh, under the 101 reasons, there is the actual video, and then there's okay. the, the written list uh, that it was based off of. So- Gun freedom is a big deal in New Hampshire. Huge. I mean, dot com directs to dot org. Good to know. Woo! So, gun freedom is big in New Hampshire. This is the kind of place where even many Democrats uh, have guns, and so it's just sort of a different realm for a lot of things here. And you can have a real impact. The small towns, you know, they don't have a whole lot of people living there, and of course, just in general, people aren't interested in politics because you know they're interested in their own lives and interested in you know doing fun things. So liberty-minded people who come to New Hampshire can actually have an undue amount of influence over the political process. And that's what we're talking with Chris about. Chris is on the line here with us from uh, via Skype. And Chris, you're a town selectman. You were appointed as a selectman to fill an empty seat uh, after one of the selectmen left unexpectedly. You uh, were able to fill this seat relatively quickly after having moved here because I think you only moved here like just over a year ago, right? Is that right, Chris? Chris? Have Chris? Did you unmute him? I He is definitely unmuted. Something I wonder if your sound card went out again. Sometimes. Sometimes uh, If happens. you want to check on that, uh, I just pulled up. Alstead has about 1,900 people that live in the town. That's not a lot of people. So, you know, very small town. Uh, Population-wise, area-wise, it's you know not so small. It's like 39 square miles. Chris, so, do we know, have you? Population density is kind of low there. Well, I have reset the sound card at this point, and that did not fix it. So we'll try and we'll try to get him back on here in uh, in just a moment. He says he's going to try to call back. Um, meanwhile, we'll get into more of the story. But first, let's go to Andrew since he's been waiting patiently. Andrew is in Alabama, in Birmingham. Hello, Andrew. Hey, um, y'all were talking the other day about that. A uh, piece of legislature that passed in New York about the uh, having to get consent at colleges to like move every, you know, move every step of the way toward you know more intimacy with the partner. So yes. it's the affirmative and, consent slash yes means yes legislation, as right. it is being called in New York. It's also a, apparently something similar exists in California. Yes, uh, these are the only two states that have it. The legislation only applies to college campuses, students on college campuses, where they will have to ask for permission to make any moves sexually on a, a potential partner. And does that include oh. kissing? Everything. Uh, it, can I actually, tell you how awkward and weird it is when 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 a guy goes, "Can I kiss you?" Like that's that's, yeah. that's now imagine, so. Now imagine that times a hundred because yeah. the guy would have to say, "Can, can I, I touch, touch you? you there? Can, can, can I, I touch you? Can I rub your arm?" Can, well, here's the thing. 
Go ahead, Andrew. The, the reason I called is that I would I'd love to see people start saying that to their politicians. Like, look, you know, yes means yes. You know, if you want to in, keep infringing on me, like, may I take your income tax? May I take – may I tax your property? May I do this? May I – Oh, wouldn't it know, be nice if they actually asked way? for permission? Boy, that'd be wonderful. I mean, I, you know, they it's, – it's just so hypocritical how they just, you know, force this outrageous, you know, consent – charade around and, and consent while they have no consent from anyone well and they have consent from some people i mean there are some people who love the government they don't and have they, consent from me no well no but me neither but no. polls show that 62 percent of people surveyed say that they do not give consent to be governed sure. And, and consent is big, particularly, you know, when you're engaging with someone, whether it be just general or, or a sexual nature. Uh, but, I mean, it's not very attractive to be in hot, hot and heavy in the middle of it and be like, is this okay? Obviously, you're doing it, and if the person is responding, then then you know it's okay. And I, the government doesn't even give Apparently me a reach around, man. Apparently, it's not that obvious, Cecil, <laughs> to people in New York and California. In and- Oklahoma, at the, the university there, they, they require students who are going to engage in coitus to hold up a sign that says what? we agree to have sex hold up the sign to where there's the cameras in the rooms or something they, they, like, they tell them to take a picture of the two of them holding this piece of paper saying that they agree what? to have sex so that everyone is covered and safe but you're not really even covered because a court in maryland has ruled that consent can be withdrawn on mid act so like you know even if you consent at the beginning, you're not necessarily consenting all the way through. That's a good point. Man. That's why they need to record video of all of their sexual encounters with the sign the whole time. That way you can pull the sign down or yell some sort of safe word. It's ridiculous. But it's then if they're insane. under 18, then they're producing and distributing child pornography. That's another good point. So the safe word is Republican. No, the safe word is red. The safe word is always red. And we just lost uh, the gentleman who was on the line, oh, but no, uh, you share the share the concerns. Uh, it's absolutely insane what is happening on these college campuses. And the real, I think the real concern, because you can avoid a college campus. You can just, you know, get a job and start working rather than going to college. But there are people who want to make this the law for everyone. Mm-hmm. They want to make it so you have to ask permission at every step along the way and further, there's actually a rule in New York that you cannot have any, uh, you can't be under the influence and make a decision on these college campuses. So even if you were to be holding up the sign or whatever, that still wouldn't prove that you weren't inebriated at the time. Right. And so if you are inebriated, then they say that you cannot consent to sex. And so therefore, any sex while you've had a drink is rape, according to this law. Right. And the you raped that- each other. Right. The thing that gets me is if both parties are drunk, it's 99.9% of the time, they're only going to ever charge the man with anything. There are cases of this where both individuals are drunk and then the man is charged with rape. That's sad. Just like um, I think it was in Colorado, maybe, or somewhere out in the Midwest, where uh, there was two injury, underage people and they had sex. It was consensual, mm. and and then he got charged with statutory, uh, statutory rape. rape. How can you get statutory rape if you're under the age of eighteen? I don't know. They were both minors. It's oh. ludicrous and doesn't really make any sense. All right. Well, that's the law. 855-450-FREE. 855-450-3733. We've got Skype, if it's working, and we'll test it here in a little bit, make sure. Uh, Hopefully, we're going to get Chris back on the line. He's actually already on hold on Skype, so stand by for the remainder of the story of how one little town in New Hampshire overturned all gun restrictions there. It's Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. You are an individual with your own thoughts, decisions, and actions. So why should you be penalized for not enrolling in the subpar health insurance mandated by the government when you can be truly independent with Liberty HealthShare, a bold, innovative alternative allowing you to take back control and make your own decisions about your health care? Mention this ad when you call to learn more. 800-714-6993. That's 800-714-6993. Liberty HealthShare. Together, we are one. 
Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Hi, I'm Daryl W. Perry, and I need your help to give away my newest book. Yes, you heard that right. I want to give away my newest book, A Rebel's Journey. The book describes my path to the ideas of liberty, which began as a search for traditional values. I will only give away the book if I reach my fundraising goal of $2,500. But wait, there's more! If you donate, not only can you get the ebook and the audiobook for free, but you can get bonus audio content, including interviews with Jeffrey Tucker, Lynn Albrecht, Ben Stone, Gardner Goldsmith, and Stephen Kinsella. Or you can get a signed copy of the paperback book and more. Your donation will serve to replace the profits I would have earned through a more traditional publication of the book. The funds raised will allow me to get the book into the hands of more people and to promote the book to a wider audience. To find out more about the book or to donate, visit arebelsjourney.com. If worse comes to worst, will you be prepared? You don't have to be a survivalist to prepare for the unexpected. Storing necessary supplies like food, water, and emergency equipment is simply taking responsibility for ourselves and our families when it counts the most. StrategicShelters.com offers emergency supplies and a secure way to store them and provides protection for loved ones in the event of an extreme natural or man-made disaster. To find out more, visit StrategicShelters.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Every once in a while, you get information that's worth changing your life for. This is one such time. You can save up to and beyond 25% on all purchases at Amazon. You probably heard of Bitcoin and just not thought much about it. You certainly know that you can get competitive pricing at Amazon, but now you can get a 25% discount on nearly everything you need to live. I've just given you a huge raise, and all you have to do is claim it. You go to purse.freetalklive.com and open an account. Do this right now, don't wait. Then you fund the account with Bitcoin. You can buy them through expresscoin.com with a check or money order. There are other ways to get Bitcoin, but that's fast, safe, and easy. This information is worth you changing the way you do things. Go to purse.freetalklive.com right now and get signed up and cash in on the huge raise I'm offering you. 25% off of everything on Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. It's purse.freetalklive.com. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Hey, welcome back to Free Talk Live. We got time for you if you want to join us here at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Talking about making a difference because you actually can do that in the political system here in New Hampshire. Most places, you're wasting your time. Uh, but here in New Hampshire, you can actually be in a place with other people who care about freedom. And guess what? <laughs> When you actually combine activists to the same place, you concentrate your activism, you have more effectiveness. And this is something that libertarians don't really understand because libertarians have historically been almost completely ineffective in the political system. But here, uh, we've got amazing success stories already with the Free State Project not even having triggered the official move yet. So everybody that's here now, the three of us in the studio... Uh, Chris, who's on the phone with us here, the over 1,500 people that have moved here as early movers, part of the Free State Project, we're getting, there's a lot getting done, and the official move has yet to begin. The Free State Project wants to reach 20,000 
people to pledge to make the move to New Hampshire. Then there will be a five-year window of time once that 20,000 number is reached where the people who've pledged, those 20,000 folks, will have that uh, five years to make the move up here. And then it really kind of officially really gets started then. So we're we're just the early mover phase, and we're already having amazing success stories. We've got Chris on the line with us here uh, calling from Alstead, New Hampshire. It's fairly nearby here to our very own Keen. And Chris, uh, you are a town selectman. You're a Free State Project participant. And do people know that about you in town? Because there's some people that try they to hide it. They know a selectman. I, no, the, I meant, are, do they Darryl. know you're a Free State Project participant? Because there's some people <laughs> that try to hide that information. I don't necessarily agree with that particular uh, approach. What's your situation? I don't advertise it. That's, that's it in a nutshell. If anybody ever asked me directly, I'd tell them, yeah, I am. And and I've done that many, many times. Mm-hmm. Um, but but most people just don't ask. Um, you know, they, they ask what brought you up here. And I tell them that we've been to New Hampshire a few times and really liked it up here. We really like your laws. We really like the freedoms that your state offers. And I leave it at that. So I am being a little bit evasive. I, I recognize that. But if anybody ever asked me directly, I answer honestly. So uh, so you you managed to do something here recently that actually is going to wipe away all gun restrictions in the town of Alstead. Now, there's not supposed to be any gun restrictions. They Apparently, there are people who believe that at some point in the past, the town council or the uh, selectmen passed some sort of ordinance restricting gun rights on government property. And so then there was Correct. this situation with a town pool that uh, there was somebody open carrying a gun there. Another Free State Project participant was open carrying, and somebody took issue with it. And it turns out, well, it's government property. And in New Hampshire, the local towns, there's some sort of New Hampshire statute that says that, uh, that the, the towns and cities of New Hampshire cannot add in extra restrictions beyond what already exists at the state level. Is that is that correct? That's absolutely correct. And and. What's interesting is, is like I said, there were two people open carrying. One of those was a, a Free State Project participant. The other one was not. Ah, the okay. other one was just a local guy yep. who happened to decide, I'm going to Vilas Pool and I'm going to open carry today. Because so, this is New Hampshire that, and you can do that here. <laughs> absolutely. And it's not completely shocking to see. Now, you know, in some areas of the country it would be, but up here it's. It may put some people off, but, you know, I've seen people open carrying in Walmarts. Not a big deal. Now, Chris, there was something that you had said but didn't really get to sort of go any deeper with about in some of the small towns, and it's this way in Alstead, apparently, where some of the ordinances that get passed at the local level never actually go any further than a brief mention in the minutes of the meeting. So, like, h- how does that happen? Is it because the town clerk works like one hour a week, and they uh, just never really put it on paper elsewhere? Just they never organize these, or h- how does that happen? Laziness. I, I think some things are very well documented. So anything that comes out of the town meeting, and town meeting is the the form of government in towns in New Hampshire, not in cities. But in a town meeting, the, the people themselves are the legislature. They are uh, invited to attend town meeting, and they can propose literally anything they want. So you're saying so it's any, not a republic? Well, I'm saying I'm saying what it is. Uh, so if if the um, if if the people are the legislature, the selectmen are sort of the executive branch of government. That's kind of how ah, a okay. town meeting form of government works. Things that are passed in selectmen's meetings typically wouldn't make it any further than the meeting minutes. So unless there were some – unless we said we are going to publish this ordinance, that would be one thing, and they probably would write that down. And we're we're going to be passing a couple ordinances soon, and they will be documented and published and filed away. But if the selectmen just say that you know, we are now declaring that this road is no longer a class five road and now it's a class six road, that's probably not going to make it into anything more than meeting minutes. So I understand why they haven't been able to find this or produce this. And I haven't either. I've gone through as, as I've, I've looked through all our web archives and tried to identify, I just can't. So it, it honestly, it may never have been passed. 
So what did you guys yep. do to handle this situation? Because there's this conflict at the pool and, you know, yeah. there's there's the law. You, you don't have an ordinance number to be to able repeal. to repeal. Exactly. So what we did was we, we had a selectman's meeting on Tuesday following this last week and when this occurred. And props to Gordon Kemp for doing lots of research and bringing to the meeting, just as a citizen attending, copies of New Hampshire RSA. That's a, um, a statute um, that was pertinent to this and also opinions from the New Hampshire Municipal Association that dealt with this very same issue. So he brought all this and, and copies of the deed to the meeting and we, we held our meeting. What was being proposed by the Vilas Pool Board of Directors and had the support of our local police officer was sort of a compromise, saying that if you come to Vilas Pool, check in with us if you're carrying a gun and just read our rules. We want them to always be concealed, so on and so on. Hmm. They were under the they were acting under the impression that this was indeed private property and not public property. That was the big misconception. And if Remember it was private property, about? they would be able to set whatever rules they want to. Obviously, the you know that's the, absolutely. the primacy of that. Yes, absolutely, and, and I, I would have no issue with it. But as it was public property, number one, number two, since we couldn't identify a particular ordinance to reference, the only choice that I felt we had to correct this point of Alstead possibly being in violation of state law was to craft a motion that wiped out every possible choice, every possible opportunity for anything to have ever been passed. And that's why in the article we worded it as we did. So you guys passed something, wasn't it uh, unanimous, right? You unanimously passed something that basically said whatever ordinances or resolutions had been passed in the past are now null and void, basically, right? Yes. A any any ordinance, policy, other act passed by any previous board of selectmen that restricts in any way firearms or ammunition on the property of or within the town of Alstead to be null and void. Okay, so yeah. I, I, nice I found a loophole. Okay. Uh, if there was something that was passed by the trustees of the pool, then that would not have been repealed by the wording that you used and if it was passed at town meeting, that would not have been repealed by the wording you just gave. Correct. Trustees would have no, no, they hold no ability to pass any statute. Right, law but they directive. could make a rule, but not for they could. public property. Yeah, it wouldn't they affect. They can't. Not, not for public yeah. property. Well, they um, they operate you're right. like a food vending thing there so they could have a rule like you know if you're sitting inside you must wear shoes not on public property <laughs> chris thanks for the call no. man appreciate the info tonight good stuff and i'm sure we'll hear more about what develops in alstead over time and uh, we'll probably get chris back on behind a microphone here as well because he was great on sunday night all right uh, there's more coming up we got time for you if you want to join us in the remaining moments of free talk live which are coming up next toll free numbers 855 450 free i'm steve sidkowski a former wall street insider i'm holding a book that will show you investing strategies which could help you earn the kind of money you've always dreamed about and right now i'm giving this book away for free so who needs to read it if you're in the middle of your career and worry you'll never have enough money to retire, you need to read this book. If you're already retired and your income isn't enough, you need to read this book. And if you don't want to be selling burgers at 80, you need to read this free book. It includes the strategy I use to make a 72% profit on a trade where the stock only moved 12%. You'll need at least a million dollars to ever fully retire. If you're behind on that goal, you really need to read Trade Like the Pros. And you can for free by calling 1-800-944-5836. Skeptical that it will deliver results? It's a free book, so what do you have to lose? Find out how at 1-800-944-5836. 1-800-944-5836. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. 
with the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. It's a terrifying thought. You're trapped somewhere without a radio and no access to GCN shows. A doctor's office. The DMV. Your mother-in-laws. Come on, stay for dinner. That's what makes the newly redesigned GCN Live app a true lifesaver. Listen to your favorite GCN hosts and programming on your smartphone, wherever you are. Download yours free on iTunes or Google Play. The new GCN Live app. Don't leave home without it. Our digital freedom is under attack. Look no further than Ross Ulbricht's life sentence to see that. After all, it's not Ross's freedom they're after. It's yours. It is bigger than Ross and bigger than a website. I think one website is by far less dangerous than the government trampling on our rule of law. The appeal is underway, and we've organized a grassroots fundraiser at thecryptoshow.com backslash free Ross. Up for grabs is Cody Wilson's Ghost Gunner, A Week in Costa Rica, My Magic Mud, Ghost Outside the Machine t-shirt. These prizes are really great. There's a ton more. So go to thecryptoshow.com slash free Ross. Please tell all your friends. Share it up. Our grassroots tactics allow for 100% of all funds raised to go directly to freeross.org. So check out thecryptoshow.com backslash free Ross. And don't forget freeross.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. So you've signed the Shire Society Declaration and are planning your move to New Hampshire to be around more liberty-oriented people. Next, sign up for the Shire Society Forum at forum.shiresociety.com. There are a bunch of people there who are already in the Shire, and they want to meet you. If you're already in the Shire physically, you should also come by the forums. Remember, not everyone uses Facebook. New people are signing up for the Shire Society Forum every month, so drop in and say hello at forum.shiresociety.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are welcome to join us here in these remaining moments. There's enough time for you. Just dial in now at 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three, and we've got Skype. Skype usernames LRN.FM. If you don't yet have Skype, you can install it on your smartphone, tablet, or your PC. We're going to be doing an experimental episode of Free Talk Live on Monday, where we'll only be taking Skype calls. So I'm kind of excited. I don't know how it's going to work out. It might be great. It might not. But uh, you got to try new things. Are you trying to be a Skype activist? No, definitely not. I don't really like Skype that much, but it's so ubiquitous. Like. A lot of people have it, mm-hmm. so we might as well have it as an option for people to call us up. And uh, the course, sound quality is generally better. Oh, it's almost almost always uh, much better than than somebody on the phone. So purse.freetalklive.com, you can save how about twenty percent, twenty five percent on anything you want to buy on Amazon when you pay with Bitcoin. This works. The headphones I'm wearing right now, twenty nine percent off at Amazon through purse.freetalklive.com. Why would you not want to get 25, 20%, 29? You get to pick. You choose. Why would you not want to save money? Exactly. Uh, This is a killer app for Bitcoin. You can't use anything else besides Bitcoin. And it was really, actually, it was really interesting. Jay Noon, who's called the show on a number of occasions to talk about various different things. He's a liberty guy up here in this, this region of the world. He left a note on my Facebook page today saying, thank you, for turning him on to purse.freetalklive.com because he's a guy who doesn't have a credit card. He doesn't have a bank account. He doesn't have those sort of trappings of uh, the, the financial world, but he does have Bitcoin. So he's never been able to buy anything at Amazon ever in his life 
until now. Mm. So now that he's got purse, he gets to shop at Amazon for the first time ever, and he gets to get 20, 25, whatever percent off uh, that, that he selects. It's pretty cool. Really, I mean, literally changing people's lives here with Purse. Purse Purse.freetalklive.com. You go there and save a boatload of money on everything on Amazon. Plus, when you enter through Purse.freetalklive.com, and you only have to go there the first time. When you go through Purse.freetalklive.com and sign up, then Free Talk Live will get a very small portion of each of your purchases from that point on. You can, after you've signed up, you can go in through their normal site URL. So again, Purse.freetalklive.com. And in your slightly incorrect, it's not just Bitcoin. You can use altcoins as well the with shapeshift. shapeshift. That's a good point. And Shapeshift is a super cool thing that actually turns your altcoins into other coins like Bitcoin. You get to select the altcoin you want to put in, and then you select what coin you want it to come out as, and poof, you can change coins just like yeah, that. Yeah, so when I just click just to verify that I was being correct in yeah. my assertion. Uh, just went on their instant buy where it saves you 5%. And there are two options. There's pay with Coinbase, pay with all coins, coins. Or you can scan the QR code and it tells you how many Bitcoin to send. Shapeshift.io. It's a very, very cool site. Big fan of what uh, what they're doing over there. And by the way, it's a free state project participant who's behind Shapeshift.io. That's great. As well. Uh, so let's go to Nick in Cincinnati. You're on Free Talk Live. Hello, Nick. Hi. Hey. Um. So, I uh, well, I want to be a farmer. So uh, when I'm older, and uh, New Hampshire has very high property taxes. So yes. depending on where you live. Um, yeah. So first of all, are there is there like a I don't really know much about property taxes and how they work. Is there like a statewide property tax? First of all. There's a very small statewide property tax that is specifically for education. And mm-hmm. then there is a county tax, then there's the municipal tax, and then there's the school district tax. But those tax rates vary widely from place to place. Right. Uh, there are a handful of places that have no municipal tax because they are not incorporated. So you've probably heard of Dixville Notch. That's one of the places where there is no municipal government because it's an unincorporated area. I don't think most people have heard of Dixville Notch. I mean, what is there, four people that live there? People have heard of it because it's always the first place to put in the presidential vote returns. I guess if you're like a super political junkie, you might have heard of Dixville Notch, but otherwise there's no reason to have ever heard of Dixville Notch. I mean, what else happens there? That's, it, that's right? it. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, Nick, look, the other thing you got to keep in mind is that, yes, while property taxes are high in general in New Hampshire, it also does not have other taxes that other places have. So no state sales tax, no state personal income tax, and a variety of other taxes just don't exist here. And there are some places where you can buy a decent amount of land. And as long as you don't build a nice house on the land, your taxes are going to be incredibly low. There's different types of property taxes. Right. Yeah. So if you just have, let's just say you have 10 acres for farming purposes only mm-hmm. because there's no structure built on there, that would be an incredibly low tax rate. It might right. be less than $100 a year. So if you well, we get don't know one exactly, of these. But- yeah. No, I there, there was a property in Westmoreland that I was looking at a couple of years oh, really? ago. How many acres? Uh, it was nine acres, not a buildable site, mm. uh, meaning that you could not put anything that was considered a permanent structure, uh, but you could put, you know, like tents or you could have a camper that was not connected to any utilities. And the property tax on this nine acres was fifteen dollars a year. Wow. So you know, depending on the type of property, and if you do this sort of thing to where, let's say you get the old shipping crate and put that on, that's not adding a large amount of value, but you could turn that into a livable dwelling and your taxes would still be low. So there are ways to keep your property taxes low by still having if, land. If and you're farming. in the farming world, sure. Uh, Nick, does that answer some of your questions? Yeah, that's, thanks. Cool, man. Anything oh. else you want to share tonight? Um, no, no, it's okay. Thanks.
Thanks for the call. Look Appreciate forward to seeing you out here. Yeah, man. Uh, freestateproject.org. Go there. Get signed up. The, go and check out that 101 Reasons uh, film. And, Cecilyn, you said it's linked to from freestateproject.org mm -hmm. under one of the menus at the top. The one, right? If you click on the 101 Reasons, it'll be right, there. It'll be right at the top of the page mm -hmm. with all of the, uh, the written out. Super documentary. I mean, I pay more in property tax now or, uh, you know, as previously uh, than I did in uh, Florida. And I, to me, I just love being around all these people who care about freedom. Um, when you add up all the taxes that you, you know, might possibly pay, then New Hampshire is one of the least tax burdened states out there. One thing that I've noticed when people look at New Hampshire objectively, like on paper, it looks pretty good. But what they don't realize, what they don't see is the vast liberty community that is up here. The right. amazing people, the things that are going on, the number of social events. If I, just looking at Facebook, I'll have three plus events on any given day. And There's there are two Bitcoin meetups this weekend. Yeah, it's just it's the amount of things that are going on, the amazing community here. You cannot conceptualize you can't touch that that's not like a thing that you can touch right. over the internet you actually you have, to have to come here and there's so many great events throughout the year uh there's the free second annual free coast festival that's, that's coming right. up there's yeah. key invention and there's liberty form in the in the winter and then mm -hmm. there's pork fest in the summer you just come up here now you totally should if you care about freedom if you don't if you like don't freedom, you should stay where you are stay where you are Please. and if you are in new hampshire and you don't like freedom go ahead and start looking at new york and vermont and massachusetts because they will welcome you with open arms so, uh, let's see. Donald Trump. He, you know, I don't really care about these presidential candidates, but Donald Trump got my attention when he uh, decided to throw down against El Chapo. I don't know if you recall that story. El Chapo, the uh, the head of the Sinaloa, I think it was the Sinaloa? One Sounds of the right. Yeah, one of the cartels down in Mexico. He escaped from prison earlier this week. For the second time. Oh, yeah. He had like a tunnel a that tunnel. was drilled for him like a mile below the ground or yes. a one mile tunnel drilled below the ground. I, I forget. There, there was something about a mile and right ground. Up to, right up to his cell. And they, they literally dug a hole into the bottom of his cell and he slipped out of the cell in the middle of the, whenever it was. And, and he got out of there. Second escape. So then Donald Trump gets on Twitter and says he's going to kick his uh, A-double-S and his donkey he, yeah. he's going to kick his donkey oh don't and, kick animals and so uh so el chapo shot back a tweet at donald trump basically threatening him uh in return so donald trump is a uh, he's an interesting character and now he's calling for all kinds of ridiculousness he's saying he's actually talking uh about mexico as though it's some sort of terrible place saying that it should be boycotted. He calls it a corrupt place, says they have a corrupt or a terrible court system, and he says, let's put it this way. I'm not going to Mexico. I think we should boycott Mexico, frankly. Mexico is treating us very, very badly. Well, how exactly is Mexico treating people badly? What, by providing delicious food and, uh, you know, cheap products for people to buy here in the United States? And Montezuma's Revenge. You're forgetting about Montezuma's Revenge. Further, he even goes on to say he wants to have some kind of crazy border wall. I mean, oh this guy, Let him build it. Yeah, I wish we had more time to talk about it because it's ridiculous. He says he can do the wall better than anybody. That's what he says. We'll see you tomorrow night. FPP.cc. Now Facebook is rolling out their newest feature, LifePoint, which analyzes users' histories to determine exactly when things went wrong. The new feature comes through photos, status updates, likes, everything that you put on Facebook in order to pinpoint how someone irreparably ruined their life. For example, it might highlight your friend's spring break trip in 2003 when she took her first shot, or your cousin's engagement to a guy named Scott spelled with a K. So, Facebook must have a lot of depressing information to work with. Well, we look for sadness indicators, positive versus negative adjectives and status updates, whether you've liked a corporate entity such as Walmart or Arby's. One of LifePoint's most buzzed about features is the life compatibility pair function, which lets you see how your mistakes stack up to others. Here, I'm overlaying my graph with a graph of a childhood friend. You can see his life ended up much worse than mine, which is great. Anything with a profile has a life point, so you can look forward to finding out when your favorite bands, TV shows, and companies started going downhill. This is the Onion News Network.
SWCPoker.eu is Bitcoin Poker 2.0, where players can buy chips, play, and cash out anonymously with Bitcoin. No banking, just Bitcoin. Texas Hold'em, Omaha Hold'em, Draw, and many new games, including Chinese Poker. SWC Poker gladly accepts players worldwide, and over 2 million hands of Bitcoin Poker have been dealt at SWCPoker.eu. Bitcoin Poker from the brand you trust. SWCPoker.eu. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Seditious Sirens is up next, live after the news, on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Friday, July 17th, 2015. Silver is trading at $14.99 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,144 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $276. Antiwar.com reports those who were able to leave left a long time ago. The easternmost part of the Sunni-dominated Anbar province is obviously going to be the front lines of a bloody war between the Islamic State and the Iraqi government, which is backed by Shiite militias. It hasn't been the easiest place to flee from, with the area around the cities a war zone. At this point, tens of thousands of civilians in places like Fallujah are just plain stuck in the middle of the offensive, with the Islamic State urging them to stay put, the Islamic State fighters putting explosives on the road into town trying to keep invaders out, and Iraqi forces shelling the same roads to keep the Islamic State from coming out to meet them. Even if they could get out, their options are limited. Fleeing deeper into Anbar just means they're going to be a target of the offensive a little later, and the Iraqi government has viewed Sunni Arab refugees with distrust as possible the Islamic State infiltrators. Past offensives into Fallujah, including the U.S. offensives during last decade's occupation, have been bloody indeed. The Shiite militias spearheading the current offensives have a long history of violent recriminations against the civilian population after their offensives as well, leaving the civilians to wait and worry. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Coinbase. Coinbase is a simple and secure online Bitcoin wallet for sending, receiving, and storing Bitcoin. Get started at coinbase.fppradio.com. UPI reports the Board of Supervisors for Maricopa County, Arizona on Wednesday voted to settle part of a lawsuit against controversial Sheriff Joe Arpaio that accused his office of using discriminatory practices such as targeting Hispanics. The settlement will include renewed training of deputies and policy changes, but no monetary damages. The trial was scheduled to begin next month, but now the sheriff will face just one charge during the proceedings instead of four. Supervisor Steve Gallardo said of the settlement, the sheriff's office put us in a situation we should have never been in. The agreement also mandates the sheriff's office to establish an official policy prohibiting retaliation against any individual for any individual's lawful expression of ideas in the exercise of the First Amendment right to freedom of speech. Arpaio, Maricopa County Sheriff since 1993, is well known across the Southwest for taking some critical views as a hardline anti-immigration position. In the past, Arpaio had been accused of abusing power, misuse of public funds, failure to investigate sex crimes, unlawful enforcement of immigration laws, and election law violations. Wednesday's agreement settles three of the four Justice Department charges against the Arizona Sheriff. The allegations that Arpaio retaliated against public officials punished jail inmates for speaking Spanish and conducted workplace raids that targeted Latinos. The fourth allegation that Arpaio's office targets Latino motorists will be the subject of a trial on August 10th. Gallardo said, people want their day in court. Most of these issues in the settlement are already moot. People have been pulled over, profiled, and they want to talk about these cases. 
For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. Reuters reports Europe moved to reopen funding to Greece's stricken economy on Thursday after the parliament in Athens approved a new bailout program and a vote that left the government without a majority. The European Central Bank increased emergency funding for Greek lenders, although capital controls will have to remain in place to avoid a run on the banks when they reopen on Monday. European Union finance ministers also approved 7 billion euros in bridge loans to Greece, allowing it to make a bond payment to the European Central Bank next month. Monday and clear its arrears with the International Monetary Fund. The loans will be finalized on Friday, provided Germany's parliament approves a request to open talks on a three-year bailout program. Greece's third in the past five years, worth up to 86 billion euros. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. It's now been seven days since a group of hikers went missing in Maine's Acadia National Park, but rescue crews there are still holding out hope of finding them alive. Autistic reporter Michael Falk is on the scene there. Michael. Hello, Brooke. My socks got wet. That cameraman gave me new socks. I am fine. That's good, Michael, but what's the situation there? The names of the hikers are Casey Allman, Brian Emery, Ashley Thorson. The hikers were last seen 174 hours ago. Since then, three very big storms have hit here. There's a 1.24% chance that all of the hikers are alive. Why are you looking for the hikers? Well, we're still hopeful that we might be able to find them. There's been a break in the weather, so we're hoping that. Over the past seven days, the average high temperature has been 21 degrees Fahrenheit. Over the past seven days, the average low temperature has been six degrees Fahrenheit. Right. So we did another sweep of the park from the air, but we didn't see anything. Without shelter, the human body can withstand temperatures this cold for a maximum of three hours. Is there shelter in the forest for the hikers? Not that we know of. They're frozen. Well, we like Shh. This is the Onion News Network.